Okay, and we live. We live. Yikers Island. Parallel Time Balls. Shout out to D.I. the Henny Man. Shout out to Easy the Block Happy. Yeah, now we're going to get into um, what's the best era of hip hop competition? Yo, Mars, Andre, was good? Let's go, DI. I'm a strip your girlfriend out of two beat. Give her a whole boot beat and treat her like boot beat. She rolled up with a Uh, yeah. I want to talk. I want to talk. Uh, what era of of since in, since its inception, what era of hip hop had the best competition? Uh, what were the best diss records? Who dropped the best disses? Yeah, brother, <laughs> thy brother. What art thou doing? <laughs> Yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. Hey, JC. Yeah, almost like DC. You know, that's a little. That's a little in in joint right there, man. Um, uh, Andre. Oh, salute, salute. Just showing some quick love to the bar guy. Salute. Yeah. Come on, easy. <laughs> Yeah, hip hop, hip hop, man. I, it don't even gotta be battle rap, man. I just want to talk the errors of hip hop. I'm a, I want y'all to join the debate, join the panel. I got y'all. Salute to um, yeah, salute to everybody that's back in they they hip hop bags too. All the hip hop artists. I've been seeing um niggas go left and right. They going back and forth, man, with each other. But I think that part was missing. No bullshit. I think that part was missing, man. I I felt like G Raw was good, man. <laughs> seeing the notification, got off the game. Salute, salute, Mars. Yeah. Um, y'all tell me which era of hip hop presented the best what was the toughest era to rap in mm, that's that's a good one that's a good one I, I think i gotta get three letter man on here too i want i want him to jump jump on this joint um debate ah your boy that ain't my boy <laughs> he said your boys ain't cold went out bad shaking my head damn bro yeah you know and the mid 90s uh, old school Tony Carter, he know his shit too. 90s, early 2000s, you had Jay, Nah, Jada, 50 Royce, D12, Biggie, Pop, Murder, Inc., Shady Records, M, Benzino. So 93 to 2002. Um, Tizzle was, was good. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm double OG status now. I think when you get like triple OG got to be like 55 and up. You triple OG status 60. You for show sure, you for show sure there. Cause if the average lifespan of, of uh the, of a man is 70 years old, shit, you only got 10 left if you 60. So yeah, triple OG status gotta come around, you know. <laughs> I'm here to be educated. I'm a youngin. Okay, uh, I'm gonna dang on. Let me see if I can. Uh, I got y'all. Hold on. Get my notepad out for this convo. Yeah, I want. I I should have invited some hip hop guests on here. I should have got a uh, Rascals and Crooked Eye to come on here today. Um, damn, I, I don't know why. Cause this honestly, this topic really just was like a 
just it, it was an instant thought, like a random damn shout out to random idiots too. I'm rocking a shit today. But um, it was like a random thought, like damn, what era really, you know, because and the reason why I thought of it because I saw like um, you know, we we seen the Kendrick J. Cole, then uh, supposedly Drake got a a, a a diss record about to drop, and Kendrick got one in the tuck. Um uh, on Metro Boomin's um album, you have uh I believe it was was that was that uh ASAP Rocky? Yeah, ASAP Rocky throwing shots. Who did he throw a shot at? And then also Quavo and Chris Brown are going back and forth over a woman, you know, of all things. <laughs> they, they they dissing each other on, on like like you got a hip hop star. Uh um Chris Brown is an R and B slash hip hop star, mega star. And they dissing each other. And I was like, damn, okay. So to me, I'm just looking at it like, okay, the disses are coming back. Like the disses are coming. Like people ain't scared to call out somebody and go or like directly go at a specific MC or artist and without without the subliminals, without throwing out a little, if you caught it, you caught it. If you know, you know. But like, no, like they actually making these joints direct again. And I'm like, yeah, but <laughs> I, I see it. I, first of all, I'm happy that 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 is coming back. But I also feel like these this is ain't nothing like when when back in like my man just said uh, the nineties the nineties any any time during that era where the the records were were phenomenal. Then you had Biggie. Um. Not to mention you had Biggie versus the, the entire state. Uh, I, I like kick the dough. The 90s was toughest because you had to be original. You couldn't sound like nobody. Uh, you couldn't sound, yeah, that was called biting, and that's a hundred percent fact. Uh, Andre, salute. That is a hundred percent fact. And in fact, uh, I was on the spaces with Verb uh earlier today, and we was talking about even in battle rap, like you know, certain eras that happened. And people started sounding like the popular guy and a lot of or originality was lost. And we was basically saying like verb guys like verb and, you know, um, of course, myself, uh, Lux, Mook, Goods, K-Shine, Arsenal, all the Lions Den, um, even the back from the, the Scribble Jam era and the grind time days, everybody kind of had their own style. And the reason verb has been able to last through this many eras of battle rap. And people be trying to troll and say, oh, he's he's trash. He's just be rapping about the stars and the moon and none of that shit don't mean nothing to. And and that and that came about because yesterday, again, a random thought. I said, yo, this man verb kind of really battled his whole battle rap career without really doing name flips. Y'all probably y'all probably can't think of five name flips he's done in his career. Yeah, I mean, there's guys who do five name flips in a round per round, you know what I'm saying? But Verb probably only did like five in 20 years. And I, and I was thinking about like how how difficult that was. And so, you know, I, I guess they was talking about it on the spaces and they wanted me to come up and speak about it. But and I was like, damn, y'all y'all be clowning Verb. But Verb has really had a career of battle rap with, with no name flips. You feel me? Like he's. And it's tough to really be an MC and, and be original and people don't applaud that enough. And, and instead of uh giving him props for that, they, they say he's not being direct enough and they take away from him. You know what I'm saying? I feel like your style in that Pat State battle um took you up levels. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I definitely knew I had to do some different things versus Pat State. Um, that, <laughs> yeah, I love name flips. Nothing wrong with name flips. I, I do name flips. Nothing wrong with it. What, what I'm saying is Verb stands out as one of the, the MCs who didn't do it. And, and that all ties back into what I was saying is like my man Andre said, the 90s was toughest because you had to be original. And so even in battle rap, I was like, well, there's only a few new original styles that I'm seeing. And I named Dollar Bill. I named this dude named Tex. I think he's from Philly. Um, be yeah, a dollar bill down there with bash money. He's 
he don't sound like nobody. Sneezy Bo also, that's another one out of I think he's from Columbus, Ohio. He don't sound like nobody. Um pretty hippie. You know, uh damn man. E and B. Shout out to E and B. We need to see more E and B, by the way, URL. Get him back. Dre Day was good. Yeah, Buster didn't sound like Jay. Jay didn't sound like Pac. Pac didn't sound like Big. Big didn't sound like Q. Q didn't sound like fucking like Snoop, etc. Everybody had their own style. That's true. Originality. But now I'm just in which era from let's let's go back. I don't know how old y'all may be. Y'all may be younger than me, but I really I was born 1980. This is like this is like the inception of hip hop, right? <laughs> like the golden era of hip hop where you got uh, Rakim, of course, and Eric B and just, you know, LL Cool J, Kumo D, Big Daddy Kane, Run DMC. Uh, wow. But then we move up. We'll move up a little bit and then we'll get the brand new being and Tribe Called Quest, Busta Rhymes and, you know, this, this, like a lot of originality was going on. Then you, you even go to the West Coast where you got uh, DJ Quick and, you know, Cube and Safir, Razkaz. Oh my God. Yeah. And they, they was going at each other. Like people was, that was the, the inception of hip hop. Like, yeah, Gwitty don't sound like nobody. That's true. That's true. He don't. Salute to that. Uh, what, what can Jay Cole rap about now, though? Christian gospel, you know, and that that was yo, that, that's a you know what that was on my mind too when he did the apology. That was on my mind. I was pretty much like, all right, <laughs> you, I'm sitting there like you prior to the apology, he was saying, I kill everybody on all these features. Nobody can see me. I'm the number one rapper, I'm the best rapper. Nobody can mess with me. That that was J. Cole's thing. And he, and he was backing it up by getting on these songs with, you know, even though the competition probably wasn't always up to par, he was, you know, smoking shit, right? Um, and then I said, okay, now when you get into this thing with Kendrick and Kendrick, uh, he, 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 get, he this and you and Drake, same time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he, he, he took a two for, two for one. Like, fuck it. Both of y'all niggas, right? So, motherfuck the big three, nigga, is just big me. He, he immediately X both of them out, right? Or direct shots. And then, you know, Cole comes back, seven minutes real, wasn't even fucking seven minutes. I was mad at that <laughs> from the beginning. You know? <laughs> I was already mad it wasn't seven minutes. You feel me? Uh, <laughs> but when you when you apologize for, for that and you feel like, oh, that was the lamest thing I ever did, that's cool. That's your... It's your prerogative. It's, it's your spiritual awakening. It's nothing wrong with. But now going forward, I'm like, I don't really. How are how do you do that? And then you follow up with saying none of y'all niggas could be none of y'all better than me. I'm the best. I'm the best rapper. I'm the best. Rapper. Not, now, granted, you can't say because he apologized that he's not skilled that that's just that's silly because j cole is still a highly skilled rapper makes very great songs he has his anticipated album the fall off coming and where we don't know i don't know if the anticipation went down or whatever um he deleted the song off the streaming platforms they say they got a drake got a record cooking he was supposed to drop it he wrote it in seven minutes. Shout out to G Romo because it sounds like it. Bar guy. <laughs> you got a bar guy for that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I keep hearing that Drake, he was supposed to drop last night. Apparently, that's what I heard. I saw Mickey Fax tweet that apparently that Drake was supposed to put out uh, a record. You know, I don't know what's the delay, but you know, I'm I'm quite sure there is gonna be a response from Drake. And that's dope. We need the competition back, but these niggas is actually whack. In comparison, in my opinion, uh, maybe that may be an arbitrary statement because, but then it's really not arbitrary because that ain't just me saying that. Like, we can go through the history of hip hop when guys were vying to be the number one rapper and they was backing it up with the records, with the bars, with the freestyles, going to uh, Tech and Sway, going to, the, to the, uh, all the radio stations on the mixtape circuit. 
these guys were actually backing it up. Pause. They were backing up their statement that they were the best rappers, right? So I feel like in this era, it's almost like you could just say it. And you could just, everybody could just say it. And nothing wrong with everybody saying it because as like we all, we all know the unwritten rule is if you don't have the confidence in yourself, if you don't feel like you're the best rapper, then it's kind of like, what are you doing? A lot of sneak dissing was going on. So that's a fact. Subliminals everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. TMR, yeah. Salute, 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 man. <laughs> salute. Facts. Um, yeah. Now, can today's era of MCs, let's take the big three. Uh, I'll I'll post the code right here for y'all. If y'all I need y'all to join this debate. See if I can fix my layout. If not, I might have to hold on. I got y'all. Um can the big three and is J. Cole out of the big three now? I've seen a lot of people say he kind of ended his own career. He took I don't believe he ended his career. I, I, I don't think so. He could still sell a lot of records, still go on tour, sign autographs, still drop videos, and still get praised as an MC. But I do I do think this has marred his his legacy because it, it, it made him look soft. Made him look soft. And um again, your claim as the best. I can't, it can't, no, it can never be validated. It, it can't be validated. Not now, not in this era, not when somebody went at you, then you went back at them and then you back down from what you did. It's like you all, it's like you thought about it. Like, no, nah, I kind of don't want that smoke. And I, and, and I even was thinking, can he recover in, in terms of like, could he, should he still drop a diss record? Like should, should J Cole drop a diss record? anyway so it's almost like it's corny either way it go right it's corny if you drop a diss record now and say you know what i tricked everybody nigga i never fold i never back down y'all all fall y'all all fell for it ha ha he did a charlie clip psych i lied i man please that was just a ploy to get him to lower his guard now i dropped the ether on him and it's like, oh shit, J. Cole was just playing. He's back. He done bombed on Kendrick. And everybody's going crazy. But it's also like, nah, bro. That's because because it's gonna look like you're corny. You're super corny for that. Because for one, if you you, you got to stand on what you said. If you said you apologize, he was greatest and all this and that, then you stand on that, right? And it'll seem like you only dropped that this record because you were pressured and you seen all the backlash that you got. And he probably Maybe he anticipated some backlash or maybe a lot of backlash, but he, I don't think he anticipated this level of backlash and maybe he didn't care at all about what people was going to say, right? But maybe if, if he were to drop a disc record now, people would probably be like, yo, you only did that because you've seen all these bloggers, all these podcasts, all your hip hop peers say they was let down. You let Nas down again what you, you lost stripes you, you you a bitch all these words and so is that pressuring him to uh to drop it but so i think what he did here honestly it's kind of maybe expose himself and i will say this j cole never proclaimed to be a street guy he's rapping about going to school you know uh, rapping about a uh, life struggle trying to just get on in the industry having to stay on people's couches her having having sex for the first time he's rapping about feel good things he never read he never proclaimed to be a gangster or a killer or a murderer so i never looked at him like that he was just a pure mc who loved the art of he loved the art of hip-hop he, he he had people that he looked up to in the industry such as nas and he just wanted to be like them or be better than them and i love that i love that you don't have to be a gangster like you don't that's cool right he didn't, he didn't, you know, that wasn't his thing. But I do feel like, first of all, the seven minute drill, it's when, when I, like I said, when I didn't hear an immediate response from him, like the, the following two day or two or three, maybe even four days go by, there's still no response. And then he drops one. I feel like it was a pressure thing. I feel like he's seen people like he said people was texting him he he looking at his phone everybody's texting him calling him like what you gonna do what you gonna do this man Kendrick just bombed on you you gotta fight back do something do something do something and that pressure got to him 
So him dropping a diss record now would also seem like the same thing. It's a pressure situation again where he sees all the backlash and now he's pressured to do something else. So I don't know, J. Cole. I mean, you, you got to just stand on that. But we're in, I digress a lot. I definitely digress a lot when I'll be on here. But hey, we just be having a conversation. I say all that to say J. Cole couldn't fuck with none of the rappers from the 90s. You put him in there with Jizza. You put him in there with fucking Inspector Deck. Hold on, bro. <laughs> we got we got names, bro. I got, I got you, family. I got you. Hold on. Let me bring you up. Jesus Christ, J. Cole. <laughs> Look what you just started, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for the donations, family. Uh, okay, no time. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I fully appreciate everything that y'all do. Um. What's up, man? Like, uh, talk to me about J. Cole, man. And and, and oh, can man. could J. Cole mess with any rapper from the 90s? Uh, yeah, of course, there are some that he was better than, yeah, yeah. but we're talking about the upper elite levels. Could I'm gonna just keep Cole in the big three for now? Let's take Cole, Drake, <laughs> Kendrick. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, it's not my place. To to really? to knock him out of there or not? It's the that's the oh, culture. That's the culture's call. Maybe it's his own call. Maybe he don't want to be a part of that no more. He just want to make music, go quietly into the night. He might go into acting or just play basketball overseas or whatever he gonna do. But <laughs> could J, Dr J Cole, Drake, and Kendrick mess with? Let's let's take a give me a big three from. Let's go ninety. By 93 to 99. Any, uh, any, give me a big three. Man, you could go. <laughs> shoot, you could go big J pop. Uh, oh, that's to see you already. Wait, you what you said? Nine, Hold on, wait, wait, go back, go back, nine, go back, go back. What did you yeah. say? I said big J pop. That's already, listen, already. Listen. Oh yeah, that yeah, that'll be a yeah, that would be that that that'd be like the the like the 2018 Warriors. You, know you, you said big. And, wait, hold on, Big J and Pop versus Kendrick Drake, Drake and, and uh J Cole. Man, get the fuck yeah, out of yeah, here, it's man. Even, it's not even close. It's get them close. niggas. Up. <laughs> get them. And, and, they and, can't and, even and, step on the court with them, bro. And, and I didn't even know. put Nas. I didn't even put Nas in there. You know today like, Nas is still fire like you know yeah we, let yeah, these we, niggas have a 20 30 year run like Nas and Jay let them have that before we can even mention them in the same breath so you're yeah. right so okay give me another three because that's why I feel like honestly that's cheating so let's kind of take take it down a little bit and I and I want to I just want to do this to prove a point because I feel like even your second team and your right. third team could probably right. still beat beat them. Hey, 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 look, I could take I could take three niggas out the same crew. I could take I could take Ghost, Raycon, and Meth. <laughs> Put it on Twitter, y'all. Somebody he said that's a wash. And, hey, and then, and look, look, still, even he said Pac Cube and Biggie. Dre Day said Pac Cube and Biggie. He said J Nas, Jay Z, DMX. Damn, mm. damn, man. You know, mm. so I, that's what I'm saying. So you said Ghost, Raekwon, and Method Man. Yep. Put that on Twitter, man. Somebody asked. I need to do a Twitter poll. Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick versus Raekwon, Ghostface, and Method Man. They probably yeah. they're gonna they might smoke them again. Like it's another wash. All right, give me a third team. Oh man! But look, <laughs> watch this though. But no. this is the point. I'm, this is the point I'm making. I, I could go. Uh huh. Those three, those six names were in the mm -hmm. same era. You right. get what I'm saying? These is these two super teams are in the same timeline. Oh yeah, yo, you could so go they, you could when go they was competing like seven, seven deep. Like when they when they were competing, they were competing amongst each other, um, along with another twenty to thirty to forty names. Yeah, 
from the yeah. from not from the 90 do just do the 90s period. We don't even got oh. if you start from the start, then you talking about rock him, and it's kind of like you you can't pick rock him because that's like an automatic. He's like this was like the godfather of all the lyricists, right? Like rock him kicked the door open. So niggas, it's other levels to rhyme and rhythm and cadence and how to a viciously attack a microphone. And for y'all that might not know or be familiar with Rakim, uh, just YouTube, <laughs> know the ledge. <laughs> listen to the drum pattern. Listen to the beat. Listen to the way he viciously attacked that 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 instrumental. Niggas don't attack the beat. They don't attack the microphone like that no more. Nowadays, it's about being smooth and finessing. It's finessing the mic. It's the auto tune. It's the melodies. It's the ad libs. Nobody's really attacking the mic, nigga. Like back back in the day, niggas would rap into the mic, and a mm. damn mic might have smoke coming off that motherfucker by the time the nigga got out the booth because he went that crazy. He was attacking the microphone like it was an enemy. Nowadays, it's about uh, na, 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 da, 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 da. and that's it. You got to hit record. Nobody's attacking no more. Did De- 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 that era was a different breed? He said, Cool G, right? This what I'm saying. You cheating, like yeah, you can't. Yeah. You hey, look, listen, hey, look, and, and then we didn't even talk about you could put you, you could put niggas from you, you could, you could take. UGK, even though they're technically they're from Port Arthur, but we'll say we'll say Houston for now. Take, let's take, take UGK. Let's, let's take UGK and add, 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 add Scarface to that. Scarface, UGK, you cheating again? You know what That's what I'm like, saying. Because because like, because I I can guarantee you that Kendrick, J Cole, and Drake all will tell you that they would they would bow their heads to those gentlemen. Right. Exactly. So, and speaking of South. Uh, <laughs> we got a, a new a new character to the to the screen. What's up, man? Yo, boy. Salute. There, there we go. The the the, the, the southern northern boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I hold the microphone like a grudge in the lack with the scratch and back the fuck up. Come on, Dre Day. Danny, let me just say this though. I think I think it's personally I think it's over for J Cole because. I know, I know his his album about to drop, the fall off or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, he he need to just just fall fall out of the studio and do something else. Cause, cause Jesus cause, Christ! Because what what can he talk about? Because if he starts talking that God and see shit, we are gonna say get the fuck out of here. Right, you got you got to leave that alone. That's over because you with. You, right, you, you committed one of the most atrocious sins as an MC is backing out of like of a, of a battle, it, bro. Like exactly, so you could never you can't talk, talk about that no more. You can't, you can't talk that god MC shit. So now what you gonna talk about? You gonna spend the whole album talking about why you backed out of it? Nobody wanna hear that shit for fifteen tracks. Yeah, I wanna hear no soft shit. Yeah, um, by the way, Mars yes, X Men is worth it. Watch the new X Men ninety seven if y'all haven't been watching it. Yeah, that shit fire. Absolutely, especially episode five. Y'all check out uh X Men ninety seven. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, like what you know, talk about for, for, for 15, he 20 can't tracks. talk. I mean, he can go back he to just making about. songs. He can go back to just making songs again, like just like having sex for the first time and things of that nature. He set his album back two years. He if he <laughs> drop an album, if he drop an album this year, <laughs> this is going. All you gonna see is people on social media taking taking uh video of them throwing his shit in the trash. Like fuck out of here. Man. Yo. You know <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Come Master on, Ace. No, I don't, I don't know him, but I know he I know who he is. And I like Jay Cole, yeah. man. I, I uh, Cole what's the what's the toughest era to rap in? Is it the early, is it from the early 80s when you had KRS one and you know Big Daddy Kane, all, all of them. That's mid. That's mid eighties. Mid eighties. Yeah, to go go to the mid eighties. Mid eighties from uh, I think it was eighty five, right? Eighty five through ninety. Let's go there. When, when what year did uh Cool G rap debut? Eighty six, something like that. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. But uh, yeah, that's another one of those guys that when you 
<laughs> you know, if he walks into a room of MCs, they got to bow their head, bro. No bullshit. They got to bow their head. Like, oh, shit, the God. The... I remember I remember Big Pun said when he met Cool G, he kneeled down and, and kissed his ring. Like, I, he, because he know he got his style from Cool G rap. But I, I've always debated, did he, was he better, Buzz, was he better with the style? That's another mm. debate. Was, was, was Big Pun better than Cool G rap? Man, big I never, so, I never had an answer. Nobody better than Kooji rap, man. Yeah, okay, I can respect that. I can respect that. But Big, big, big Pun, died too, he died too soon, man. He died too soon, but oh, he was so God. amazing. He was so good, yo, Capital Punishment is still one of my favorite albums. It's still one of my he, favorite I, albums. I mean, period. Top, top in fact, bottom, in the fact, it might be my number two favorite album ever. Uh, um, after Dog Food, but uh, that's when Corrupt mm. was was going crazy. Corrupt was going crazy. Yeah, dog pound, yeah, dog pound, yeah. That's what was the era, G Roll? What's the era? What's the toughest I one? Mean, probably like well, how many how many year time span are we doing? Like a four from, 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 from the beginning to now. No, I mean like today, like like a five year time span. Um I, if I yeah, say yeah, you can do five years, you can do five year increments. Cause you can do like from ninety to ninety five, ninety five to uh two thousand or something like that. Two thousand to two thousand and five, and then so forth. I'm gonna say ninety three to like ninety seven. I think we got like mm. the best rappers ever mm. in that little pocket. You know what I mean? Like okay, like, name them. Name them. I think we 90, got Snoop that we got a Snoop that year. Right, but I think that was ninety three, right? Well, we, well, we kind of got covered. When did Deep Cover yeah, drop? That was ninety one. The oh, so he so uh, Snoop was before ninety three. Yeah, but I mean, was Deep Cover that 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 was it? 91? He still was in that. He still was in that though. He was for still sure. within ninety three. Yeah, but I'm gonna say ninety three, ninety four, ninety five. Corrupt. He probably he probably like top. I, I told he, niggas he might be like top. Bit, like <laughs> he could be the best rapper ever. That ninety three, ninety four, ninety five. Corrupt. Bro, when, do you remember when cannabis was on here saying that? Yeah, 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 yeah. When he yeah. said corrupt used to just run up on him with, with, with rounds and just yeah. and make him and force this nigga to rap. Yeah, corrupt was a different man. I'm telling y'all that corrupt. Uh, Go listen to dog food if y'all haven't haven't never heard it, please. Yeah, nah, uh nah. He said 93 to 97. Mm. It's like the best, like best rapper ever. 97 yeah. Jay, 97 Jay-Z, that volume mm. one, the rapping he was doing. Yeah, yeah. Like greatest rapping ever. You know what I mean? Was 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 volume one better than reasonable doubt? No, nah, not as Whoa. a total album. As, oh, a whole, as a whole, as a whole project. No, no, was, no, no, okay. I thought so. I, thought. I just I'm just checking. I'm just checking. I'm testing y'all. <laughs> Bar God just testing y'all. Y'all pass. Nah, nah, <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of because he was doing a lot of um, you know, he, he was working with Diddy a lot and he, he was wearing the shiny suits and shit. You know what I mean? It was it was a little era. That's why he had to come out with streets just watching. He was biting, you know what I'm he was biting, he was biting big. Who who was better? He was biting big. So so let me let me go back. You said 93 mm -hmm. to 97. 93 to 90. That's five. Years. That's the best era of of or no the toughest. Rapping. Wait, the best or the rapping. toughest? It had to be the toughest of rapping. If you was competitive rapper, if Nas heard corrupt, yeah, he had to be like, yo, who is that rapping? He ain't even got right. Album out. If you if they heard Nas before he put his album out, they had to be like, yo, who is that? You know what I mean? Uh, Absolutely, I, I agree. Of course, of course, Pac was just so ferocious. You know what I'm saying? He just going crazy, just like you can't even. Like compete with it then big, you gotta be like like if you competitive, you like hear him say, and then you got Wu Tang, you got Nike, right? You know what I'm yo, saying? Yo, yo, hey, hold up, hey, 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 you, I'm gonna keep it around. See a lot of people who talk about this, but when you talk about Tribe, when you talk about Fife Dog, yeah, Fife Dog was a rapper, motherfucker, yo. I mean, I wouldn't say, is, I mean, because they no, say Fife ain't write all this stuff, man. They say consequence was writing for him, so. I don't, I don't uh, want to He had some great photos, yeah. but legend, okay, all right. I couldn't put him in the. I but, couldn't put him now. Q Tip was, you know what I mean. He had. His hey, hey, life. hey! Nesta Goat says, "Uh, Pharrell Monch was the most advanced lyrically by far in that era." Mm. Hey, it's tough to say that because yeah, listen, I, I feel you. 
I, I feel know where you're like coming that. from. I didn't really know his music like that. Yeah, because... but I, I won't say he was the most lyrically advanced, bro, but he yeah. definitely was one of the... This was during Rock is Records era. I don't know Ooh. if y'all remember Rock is Records, course, but they, yeah. Was, yeah. they was putting out projects uh with common most and deaf, most deaf and, they yeah. was dry you had I to live. have bars i said yeah. yeah. that, that, no that was a whole that was a whole era right there danny you could go you know what i'm saying that was a whole it was <laughs> the and they was selling units it was good it was dudes going platinum over there they were yeah yeah shout out to rocket's records Word. man they they was really about the rhyme they was really about the yeah. art of the mc it and was. they put the mc in the forefront and not the 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 image and the you know the all that the all that shit the extra yeah, shit they the nice rapping was first year run. if you was on rock his records or you dropped a project from them you was nice you had right. to be nice like that right. was like the criteria to get signed with them but um so oh, when, mean, you, when you say when you say Pharrell Munch, Rock is Rock I'm, was kind of the backpack guys. They was kind of like they was able to say we're gonna get all the backpack guys. But them oh. niggas was the best. They no, was they could rap. So they could rap, rap, but, but they wasn't. Was nice. It wasn't like you just got to be like this great rapper. Like they was just, they were getting the backpack niggas that was rapping because Wu Tang had niggas that were rapping, but they were street dudes. You know what I mean? Nah, right. the whole Queensbridge was rapping, but yeah, they were street dudes. You know what I'm saying? Right, like a nine made bone thugs. Ooh, that hey, y'all got yeah. I like these opinions. I like these uh, <laughs> these talking points. Mike and nine from uh, free, freestyle oh, fellowship. Oh, oh, oh. Um, one of my favorite groups of all time, if not my favorite. Who now, to, to Andre's oh, uh, to what Dre said earlier about the styles, you had so many different styles and flavors, though. You know what I mean. You have to be original, man. Now, now everybody sounds alike, man. I'll <laughs> oh. be hearing some on the radio. I'll be thinking it's one nigga record with it's somebody else. See, look, this is my thing yeah. right there. Yeah. You say that, right, Dre? Because What's that? When you say that, even yeah. back then, they were biting, though. You know what I mean? Like, like, like with Jay on volume one, he kind of mimicked exactly where Puffin, like him and Dash. Mimic with Puff and Big was doing. They trying to, you know what I mean? No, no. Look at the credits. Puff produced half that album. That was the problem. Oh, I mean, that, I'm that talking about even, that's in the why videos. I, even in the videos, like you got Jay doing the goof. You know what I mean? On Sunshine. Yeah, and, no, yeah. Like, that's because that's because Diddy produced the record. That's what I'm saying. He, he had know, an era I, got, with, I gotta look and see. Yeah, yeah look and see. Yeah, yeah. Puff, Puff had a large influence on that album, <clears> and did and, and and Jay said, you know, he. He regrets it to this day because he kind of took some bad advice, and then he came back with Streets is watching in Volume Two, and all that kind of went away. You know what I'm saying? But what was what was Jay's best record of his career? You his mean record album? or album? Record or album? Album. album. Ooh, uh, black and, album. And, and let's not forget the yeah the black album. Let's not forget uh, uh, uh what was that American Gangster? American American, 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 American Gangster is in my top five. That's what that's his most underrated album, I think. Damn, I need to play. About, but when you listen to, you know, oh man, sweet. When you listen to um uh, American you, Dreaming, you get you know, one Jay Z record. You know? I mean, one Jay Z album. It might be that American to. Gangster for me, man. But Ooh. but that volume I, one got so many songs I, that I, I like my I, favorite though. Like my I'm gonna say volume two. two. I'm gonna say volume two hard. Hey, y'all hit the like button while y'all in here, please. That was the please. album that 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 really made me a J fan was volume two. That was the first album I actually bought is, when, with my wow. That, my that's that's amazing. Record. That's amazing. What when that what and what is Nas's best record? What's I mean his best album? I mean, hey, Dynasty oh. was fire. And shout out to so, uh, for, Dirt for me, MacGyver. For me, my favorite Nas album is I Am. But that's that's my favorite. Ooh. That's my my hey, personal you, favorite. Hey, you want to know what? You want to know something though? What's that's that? my favorite Nas album. Salute, salute. <laughs> like no that's bullshit. Favorite, that's my favorite. You got Nas's Nas like album. on there. You got you got no. Small World on there. Uh, the K I S S I N G. New York, uh, New York State, State of Mind Part Two. Yeah, yeah. That's that's his best album to me ever. Even though life, life is what you make it with Dmx. Uh, it was, yeah, I know, right? See, my Fine. favorite is they uh, like it was written too. Stillmatic, my favorite. I think it was written probably might be his like still might is fire from top to yeah. bottom. Like oh, yeah. no still bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Besides ether, besides ether, rock lost a million. Ether, ether was a trash record, man. Ether, ether, was, ether trash. was trash. 
What? The beat was trash. It was trash. Oh, oh, you, got these, you, got this, you got these big lips and whatever. It was corny. It was corny. It was corny. Oh, corny. man. Ether, with, with, it, with Drake, it, Drake, listen, Drake, let me let me let me let me let me say something. First of all, and, and I respect all opinions, but right. how could you say Ether is trash when that trash. song title kind of became a phrase when somebody gets destroyed now, right? They'd be like, like that nigga got ethered. He got ethered, right? That became a saying in throughout the black community. It was a from mediocre, a strong title. Mediocre. It was a mediocre. There's it could mediocre. not be. Man. <laughs> it was mediocre. They it was mediocre you. at best. They, they killing you, but hey, but I respect Yo, all the pins. I don't, we don't we don't do no name calling over here. But man, to listen. Me, to me, it was a trap. Take takeover was a much better record. See, I be hating when people try to say that if Takeover was a better record. It was like, a better record. What was better? The, 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 the sample, the, the, the door. Hold up, brother. The door sample. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. But, and, okay. And, and, and talking about hip-hop battling, saying, though. Hold on, hold on. Everything Jay was saying was true. You what know, he said? When, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. When you found oh, the tip oh, on the dress with a large professor, Back in '88, you was a ballerina, and then he actually showed. Got the pics as I seen you. What he said about Nas that was true. That summer jam. What he said about Nas that was true. When he talked about the tech on the dresser with Large the, Professor, the how, you know baby how you knew Large, that was true? Large <laughs> Professor said. <laughs> that was in a, there. <laughs> Large Professor said in an interview when he was on Captain Jack. Go look it up. He said oh, it was true. Shit. He said they were at, they were in DC. They was on the bus. They were shaking the bus because. They they canceled the show and Jay had the tech in the bag and he saw the tech. Okay, keep going. Go look it up. Go look it what up. What else was true? Did, did, did he look it right said, at you? Did he, he be said, when you when, when he said, you know who did you know what to you know who let's keep that between me and you. Okay, he okay. his baby mom's okay. army. It was true. Okay, he said was that true. was true. What that else? was true. What else? What else? That was true. Cause he said you but, but you but no hold he on said, you went no, 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 that Jay Z said that was true about Nas, and he gave he, you he a. Said it was gave, all true, right? He I gave him multiple. He, I gave him multiple. He gave you okay. multiple examples. Cool, so, cool, so cool. He, cool. he defended the turf. Okay, he cool. tried to put his back against the wall. No, no, he got right, off cool. the wall. Cool. We got to give then, him that. Cool. Nas said you went from Kane to Jazz. Who he said to be? All yeah. that was real. All that oh. was. He gave the nigga whole timeline of his career, which you never knew. You ain't know okay. he was up on the herb. You ain't know he's up on the uh cane jazz. He was up on all these niggas. No, uh, Jay I don't said remember that. the record off, off the top of my head. Jay said Kane used to pick him up uh from school in his uh drop top bins and all that. Jay Jay said Ben said that. When he, he said when he, when, he when, said that before he, he said, said he said at Big Daddy, he said at Big Daddy King shows when Big Daddy King used to go off stage to change, Jay used to come out and, 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 and keep the crowd warmed up. It used to freestyle while while Kane was in the back changing, doing war mm. and shit like that. Jay, Jay, Jay already said that, so it ain't like it was a, a, a revelation. <laughs> okay, Kane credit. For that. Uh, let's, giving, hold on, we, we be getting off, credit. we be getting off course, but it's cool. Y'all hit the like button, please. Yikes. Hit the like button, man. This is dope conversation. We need these hip hop conversations, especially for those who may not be as informed as these gentlemen are, and people who are just like finding out some of these details and it's always just dope to debate that's what the that's why the barbershops were so popular because people was somebody would drop a record and he was like ah that was cool it was mid or that was trash no this is a classic and they would debate what albums was the best and like i said the so is it is it agreed are we agreeing that the 90s was the toughest time or or can somebody give a, a I, argument can I, somebody yeah, give an argument it's the Can that's, somebody that's give an argument? From 2000 to 2010 might have been tougher. Like, yeah. and I, no, when, when no. did hold on? When did Rain? When did Wayne go on his mixtape run? That was uh, like 2000. Oh, well. 
that was like oh two. That was like oh two thousand and oh three. Oh like oh three oh four. If y'all in so the comments, like, somebody help me out. When did dedication oh, drop? Je dedication oh, dropped like oh, like oh two oh three, right? I know oh four. Oh two oh, four. he was doing squad up. And then okay. Oh, he said every, everybody had OG okay. mentors, so bump this debate, okay? Dre Day says, uh, Jay used to rap like Dos Effects. He never so, got, he I never got L to me. He used to rap like the Foo Sniggins. Yeah, he did. Uh, Why did J. Cole name, apologize? I don't understand how people can defend him. But but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, though. He ain't Danny, defending that shit. I, I feel like the, like the mid-2000s when hip-hop started to kind of take a, a downturn, because that's when like a lot of the like the 808 bass, you know, started to come out. Everybody, mm. just, everybody just want, everybody just wanted a, a 808 beat, and then it, it's uh, that's when the zero, zero, out. fight back. I gotta keep it real. This, this is the south. Once, if once, you watch, um, John, let me go to my glue. Hold on, let me go to my glue easy bars, man. Hold on. We been had the hip hop like, nigga. We took, we been had hip hop. So, like, <laughs> no, the New York niggas fell off. Hello, you know LCD. I mean? But look. The, th the thing about it, it, right. took a, yeah. it took a slope because a lot of the yeah. young rappers, them niggas fell off. You know what I mean? And that's where all the media was at. We ain't have it now. Like we got, well, we got this independent media where we can have people that are influencers that could push brands. You know what I mean? We had to depend on right. New York media for New not, Hot Nine Seven, and you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It was basically Hot Nine Seven, like where everything had to go through the, the pop nationwide. And they were putting out trash. What we had talked about the other day, New York, the tri-state area wasn't putting out nothing no good. The one, the best that came out was what during that time, Cassidy came, made it through. Uh, who else was coming out from like the East Coast from the mid two thousands? Uh, until well, before Nicki Minaj. Well, well, this, this is this is what I say. This is this is what I say, G. Roll. This is why I got to give y'all credit. At a time where. Hip hop in the uh, in the Northeast of New York was starting to kind of it was starting to kind of crumble because everybody in New York was beefy with each other, right? And, you know, know they, part, part, no, listen, listen. Part of that reason was you know 50, 50 Cent came in the game. He started beef with everybody. He's beef with John. He's beef with this person, whatever. It kind of started a riff in New York where Atlanta and a lot of the Southern artists stuck together, and it was like yo fuck all that. They up there beefing. We go we gonna work together. We gonna do records together. They we did. To I remember that. We're gonna build each other up, and all the southern rappers started sticking together. All this Atlanta, they did rappers and all that. They stuck, and they together. and they actually, they actually had it ever since. Do. They've actually had it ever since we 98, had it since 99. 99. We've been had it, bro. We yeah, had bro. it when when Big and Pop was beefing. We had it then. Y'all just ain't know. Y'all niggas was worried about East Coast and West Coast. <laughs> we had niggas going triple platinum. <laughs> Yikes! Hey, out here selling three I'm not. We rappers. not. We not debating that. I'm. So I, I'm gonna give you that. Soul food went platinum. We uh, had, uh, eight ball dropped okay. a triple disc. You know what I mean? Like we did. Yeah, eight ball. That's eight ball dropped that lost that triple album. He, yeah. and it's super super underrated. East Coast West Coast. Oh, the people. album that had the. Uh... All the signs going in the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he had a triple album. It was actually dope. See, look, let I me remember he this. had one about his the girl. Uh, he was messing with the boss's girlfriend on there. That was a very dope concept song. Yeah. No, anyway, but look, look, yeah, look. A ball was a storyteller too. He that nigga nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, but listen though, when you I be hate when people like try to put it on fifty. That's like an easy or oh, put it on fifty. Them New York niggas want to work. It was an all hell. He, he all said three six was killing shit too. 3-6 been killing since 92-3. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just ain't know it. But listen, with 50, the New York rappers, they weren't working together no way, though. Fab and Fat Joe never worked together. Nas never worked with, with Fab. Jay-Z hadn't worked with uh Fab until 08. Like, you got, like, Jada had never, hadn't, uh, Jada... Uh, I think Jada... Which, have speaking right of, now. speaking of, which of, which of the Southern... First of all, before I ask this question, uh, what's T.I.'s best album? Mm. Uh, man. I think King, for me, King. A lot of people I, down here say uh, trap music, though. Yeah, I, I, I say trap music. You, you, you right. You right. I, I agree with you, G-Roll. I say King, too. Oh, wow. I, I need to take another listen to King. Okay. Yeah, I'm not King. saying... I'm not saying... That was 2006. 2006 okay. When they came. Yeah, 2006. Okay. So, okay. Now, that was, that was top which, album, 2006 yeah. which of the southern artists, 
What, damn, and Tizza, I don't know if I'm saying your name right, Tizza. Just say yes or no in the comments. I don't want to mispronounce somebody's name, but uh, which of the southern rappers could it was better than Jada Kiss? How about that? Which southern rapper better than Jada Kiss? Which it name was, a southern rapper who was better than Jada Kiss? And what do you mean, career or just rap? Just rap. Yeah, we're not I talking mean, about album sales and none of that. We talking about, I'm talking just, about just, I'm, no, no, we, not albums. I'm talking about career, like putting out great albums. No or, rap skill. Strip rap. down all uh, of the all of the logistics. Let's go. The, the, the what what that MC could stand in front of Jada? If you said, "Okay, Jada just dropped a hundred bars and that shit was crazy," I got somebody for him. I'm from the south. I'm finna go get three blocks. stacks. Three stacks. <laughs> Hold on, look. Hey, before, they said the flu album. Before the hey, look, album, he said talking about prime Andre. Okay, I got about, you, Tizzy. All right, you talk about flu album. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on, man. Man. hold on, man. Look, you got Scarface. Oh, that shit on first, Twitter. G Raw, ask the fucking mind. question, man. Three stacks, is, three stacks three versus Jada Kiss. Yeah, that would be fire. It, it, on, it would be a good, it'd be a good match. Jada Kiss, Jada Kiss is a, amazing, but Jada wow. got got so many classic quotables and and songs that. Okay, I don't know if Andre, no, no, I don't know if Dre no. got enough. I'm a, no. you know what, Danny, Danny, I'm, I'm not gonna do rapping. that, man. Yeah, Hold on, goddamn it! Oh, he rapping. Come give me somebody, and you. So I'm gonna bring. No, no, no. That's fine. That's what you do. That's who said three thousand. I got a couple dudes. Out Who there you got? Talking. Don't and, but see you. What you gonna do is you gonna you gonna cheat and get a god tier. You'll say like Scarface. Three three thousand is got Jada Kid's not a god tier. I don't. I you don't know. Nigga know. Get like a mid tier nigga for Jada and Jada like no. A no 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 because 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 in the grand scheme of New York, in the grand scheme of New York, I don't think Jada Kiss is revered the same way Nas and Jay Z are is. Man, Jada Kid's a legend, man. Uh, he, he's a legend. He there's, 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 there's legends and then there's Hall of Fame. There's there's legends and there's Hall of Fame. I, I would say Jada's a legend. You name he's a legend. If I if Jada Kiss was to walk into this studio right now, you bro, you a crap. legend. You I'm not gonna say, oh, you a Hall of Famer, bro. He you is. a legend. So Jada. I'm gonna give him that, but I'm not I'm not gonna say you in the same way. Jay and Nas, bro. Jada, Jada, Jada could rap, he, man. I mean, is, Jada, he, lyrically, is, lyrically is he better? He is he better than Nas? Come on, man. Ain't nobody better than Nas. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. Come on, man. All right, all right, all right. I give you that one. I give you that one. All right. Three thousand in. But three thousand versus Jada. I got Jada, bro. Yeah, you talking about rapping? You just talking about rapping? Yeah, and you look, just, you just rap, okay, rap, just rap, rapping rap, only. Rap. Cool, cool. Rap for rap. I go get I get ball, push it. I'll get push the T. Ooh. Push Ooh, that's the a oh, that's a good one. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, you keep thinking all, all push it talk about ghost uh coke bars. You ain't y'all ain't listening. Man, listen. You think that's all he talking about. Hey J Jay, 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 who you talking about? You said you Jada know, better than Dre. Which and what Dre you talking about? Oh, he said he made okay, okay, Andre three seconds. I I agree. I agree. I agree. That nigga from New York. Push, push, and push is nice. Danny, I don't know what you want, man. Oh, I, this is we having look, a hip hop debate. Pusher. I'll put Pusher oh, with Jada then. Since okay, put this. I put Pusher. That's up. that's a good that's a good fight, but Jada wins that one too. What? Jada no, wins that. Uh, what? No, 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 we got to go live on that, Instagram. Bro, I don't have because I, I can tag them. I can tag if we go live on Instagram right now. I can tag them, and we're going to see. Okay. okay. What does that mean? I can end this. I can end oh. this live, and we go live on Instagram with this debate. Bro, oh. this is what I, now I Now I can, now I can have Bro. Cricket pull up. I can I can bring up a couple MCs, some real oh. hip-hop artists, and let them debate this. Bro, no, your daddy Pusha can go, bro. He can go. Can he go harder than Jada? Yes. yes. No diddy. <laughs> yes. No diddy. Y'all just... Yes. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, see, you talking about you talking about this? Yeah, this yeah, yo, you talking about on, man. you talking about just rapping? You ain't say like you ain't saying no, like no, they're oral. You, you, you know I, who gets more respect in the streets? You just said rap bar for bar. Pusha T is amazing, bro. 
Nice. Bro, it ain't too many dudes I put over. Like, I've said nice. probably Nas and, like, man, I got pushed over a lot of dudes, man. Pause. Now, 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 now <laughs> full disclosure, I live in Virginia. So, let me just, full disclosure. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 that's oh, what, so, that no, is, no, that is, that is, no, 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 no. What that means? No, Rissa that, explains that it all. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. That this is, all right, all right, all right, I, I, I won't, I, I won't I, take I, that into look, account. Look, cool. I was born in New York, Danny, uh, that has nothing to do with anything. All right, I'm all right, all right. Look, look, I'm just going yeah, you say Pushman was born in New York, but he say I'm from Virginia. Well, I ain't the dude, but. Look, man. I don't know about this one, dog. I like Listen. I like the fight though. I like the debate because because Pusha got some cold ass verses. Cause you he's, cause he's been doing it for a long time. Yeah, push it, push it. But hey, I don't know if he got more five. colder bars than Jada, bro. I'm sorry, man. I would okay. I don't okay. know. Let me see okay. something. Man. You, you could you 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 could you could debate it. You could debate it. You know what I'm saying? Like. I mean, it's, I, mean, I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, we really pulling hairs, to be honest with you, because we're talking about some of the top MCs in the world. I mean, so it should be a debate, though. It should yeah, be hard because they're great. Yeah, it's, it's splitting hairs. You can't go wrong either way. Yeah. yeah like them punchline niggas, man. No, nah, like, nah, it's I, not even necessarily that because Jay to be dropping philosophy in his shit, too. He, he it ain't does, just, but it ain't he just punch, punching. He's a punchline nigga, though, at the end of the day. Mm. I like if that, that was the case, I would that's if true. that was the case, I would be saying Cassidy all the goddamn time. Nah, Cassidy don't be punching like Jada and he ain't don't flow smooth like hey that. hold on, bro. Cause Cassidy told me he got all them niggas to rapping punches. Okay, cool. from <laughs> Fab, Fab, Lloyd Banks, and Jada. He tell me this like all the time. Lloyd Banks, yes, even Banks. Listen, he said look. he. Let me see if I can get him on the phone. Listen, man, look. <laughs> Do, look, Dr. J and David Thompson was my favorite player. That nigga did not better than they were, though. Right, I'm going to see, oh, I'm gonna see if Cassidy answers yes, his goddamn phone, man. This shit <laughs> crazy. I don't even hold on. It's Friday night. He, he probably he probably on stage right now, Danny. He, he, he probably, probably in the studio. He probably yeah. in the studio. He probably in the studio. <laughs> he probably doing a show. Yeah, I'll call him back. No trip. I, and maybe he'll call him back. Jada we gonna find out with, though. Jada was punching with Bad Boy before we even heard of uh Cassidy. Like Jada didn't didn't change his style. Like, well, come on, man. Banks is the goat. Shout out to Banks. Banks put up on a uh, Verb show. He done people put up on here. I said I'm about to go. Shout out to him. Yeah, yeah Banks Blue, is nice. Yeah, Banks is nice. Blue hair. Look, I'm a big G Unit fan, man. Like that's all I would listen to when they came out. Like it's G Unit. Like everything. You know what I mean? But, the first but, album was so, so, so Mo Green 420 says y'all y'all do realize Pusha is pretty much like the Jada of the South, right? So I mean, mm. I mean, I think Pusha better than Jada, but I think, but I think mm. Jada is I mean, I'm talking about in terms of career, because Pusha put out like classic bodies of work. Kiss thing that okay. put out a classic album, though. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's the question. That's the question. Has Jada ever put out a classic solo album? No. 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 Well, there no. You go. There you go. All right, all right. We, we you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand down on this one. Y'all got it's two, it's two against one. I don't feel like fighting both, both <laughs> y'all. I, I got, I get it. I'm outnumbered this time. I'm gonna let it go. I'm, <laughs> he said, J88 says, kiss. He said, kiss of death. Kiss of death. Absolutely not. Cassidy's mainstream hip hop version of Cassidy. His punches is outdated. Oh, yeah. Yikers. Hey, look, look, look. Kaz is still dropping heat, and that's look, not just because it's the homie. But who's the West Coast version? Of, who's who's out, out of the West Coast? You gonna get to rap with uh Kiss? To go rap, nigga, corrupt, crooked eye. What the hell, Listen, wait, 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 Jada, wait, wait, wait. Jada don't, don't got nothing on. Now we gotta straighten this out now. Straighten it out, then get the iron corrupt, board. Corrupt was cold. <laughs> Like them years I said that pack. Uh salute to Tony, bro. He said Daytona is a classic. Daytona is a classic. Yeah. Uh yes, King it is. With, was a with, with oh. seven, seven records. See, now I'm super out. Now I'm super out number. But he, y'all correct. Classic with only seven records, Danny. That's it. Seven records is a classic. That's how, <laughs> you, know how you know how good the album has to be to be a, a classic with only seven records <laughs> on it. Right. Then he then he killed like my name is my name. Come on, man. He Ooh. got like classic tapes. Uh, 
Raph, the even, Raph, the King. Even his last one, I like it, man. Listen, just listen to, yeah. listen to Exodus. Listen to the song it's Exodus. 23, what, 23, one? Yeah. I, 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 I'm not debating. I'm not listen. I'm not fighting y'all. I'm not fighting it no more, brother. I stand down. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. And I still don't feel like Pusha is a better rapper than than, than Jada Kiss. Well, like but if y'all talking to individual okay. accolades and you're talking about, okay, well, Jada ain't got no classic album. Man, Jada paved the road for all these niggas for real. Talking cool. that street, when you talking hey, about taking, you when you talking about street shit, block Bro. shit, hood Bro. shit, dope dealing shit, and you make it sound dope and cool, he was doing this way before Pusha T. Bro, Doctor J and Julius, uh, and uh, here we go. Doctor J and George <laughs> Gervin, they paved away for Michael Jordan. <laughs> what that? What does that mean? That, that, hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold on. I got. Uh, I, I, I see where you going. <laughs> I see where you go, hey, cousin Matthew. What's good with you, man? Uh, no, I see where you're going with it, man. However, oh, this man. said Dr. J and them paved the way for what Jordan and LeBron yeah. and Kobe. Jordan, we just gonna stick. And, with and Jordan. you're saying so even even though they so despite the fact they paved the way, don't mean they was just automatically better than the niggas they paved the way for. And I agree because I say that about battle rap. I'd be like, just because Mook Nim was here first, don't automatically make them the best that and no one can never be better than them. So I right. get it. Right. And that's a whole nother debate. But you know, I I don't I don't know. Maybe this is new to me. Maybe this I've never heard somebody say push the T was better than Jada Kiss. And it's a compelling argument. But you still ain't I just, I just the can't, I can't do it. I can't I can't Look, get on board with that. The West Coast, though, you said corrupt. And Jada, corrupt. Listen, corrupt had a pocket. I just corrupt told you. got a classic album. What what album he got that was classic? Shit, nigga. See, but uh, maybe you got to be from the West. But I like I always yeah, say, about dog food. Beer. Dog like, food is better than anything Jada that's, ever put out. That's a group album, man. In that All case, right, I say take, we take, take individual. Let's go with corruption. Let's go with uh. Let's go with corruption. Let's go with um, Streets is a Mother. If, if my cousin Matthew's on here, that's why y'all hit the like button. Bro, Streets is a corrupt, Mother. Corrupt rap. Don't, don't start After this. 97, don't I don't do know this. what happened, bro. You right. I'll give you that. He wasn't. It wasn't the flow pack. Something wasn't. happened. It Something was, happened to him. Something happened. I don't know what happened. Syllable, hard, real hard. A slap, 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 slap. Like he was stopping real hard. Yeah, yeah. Before that, he was. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's how he was doing. Was he not? Was he not? He was fire. Hold on, bro. That's cool. That yeah, cool. I gotta fix out. my layout, uh, cause oh, I gotta fix my layout, cause I uh, I don't know what I did with my layout, but I'm, I'm y'all hit the like button while y'all on here, niggas. You um, them, them Dells, man, them compact computers, man. I, I don't do that. I don't do that, brother. <laughs> Stop corrupt, playing. With, I, I don't corrupt, do that. Corrupt ninety three to like ninety seven. I don't know what happened out the pot pass. Should went to prison. Snoop left. Corrupt came back. I don't know what happened know to him, man. If, if uh, them niggas flipping flax, Foxy made him get on the like drinking real hard and sniffing, <laughs> whatever he was doing. It, 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 the drugs, bro. It you know what it was. Voice. He was like trying to push through. Yeah, dad's dip. It was like, you know what I mean? It was just, it wasn't the same corrupt. But it wasn't. Who, I give you that. It, it wasn't. But you said, but you asked me who could go, who from the West can rap can't, with, with Jada Kiss. I'll, yeah. I'll give you crooked eye, and none of them niggas really can see crooked. Come on, we bro. can if we if we being for real, for real. He now just rap skills. Look, look, look. Period. It's nobody. Uh, I got crooked eyes. Is my I, personal I, I, goal. I, I, I'm not that just for crooked eye. I ain't gonna crooked lie, eye. So I, crooked I eye really is good at a at what a particular. Uh, oh a God, let me go. No, I'm not dissing cr cricket. Is How about a call him? Huh? No, no, no. I'm saying no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to. I want to. No, listen, listen. I'm, I'm trying to call Kaz. Call. You lucky he ain't no, answer. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, say, say, say to but it's things. not even on awesome. some. I just want them to speak for themselves. It's not even on some. They gonna change my mind about whatever. Yes, yes, they will. Whole life and studying. Yes, they will. I can break this thing to a science. Ain't no nigga gonna change my mind, man. We can discuss okay. stuff, but listen to what I'm saying though. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, listen though. Cricket Eye is uh -huh. great at a particular skill. Like okay. Jay Kiss is great at, but they both can do the same stuff. 
but cricket eye is great with the multi syllabic syllab uh, yeah syllabic, yeah I can't say the word. yeah yeah he's yeah, great yeah. with that like but he can get into the story the the, yeah. yeah he's great at that he also he's has substance he also has That's what I'm saying. you ever you ever listen to life of a bandana he remade uh Nas's I gave you power where he rapped from the perspective of a of a gun Crooked okay. did it from the, the perspective of a of a gang bandana, and it was so incredible. Y'all can YouTube it right now if y'all if y'all haven't heard it, but the man is incredible. What's it called? Nobody Life of a Bandana by Crooked Eye. Okay. No, look, okay. check I, I, that I'll out. Go. The See, nigga look, is incredible, bro. Yo, um, but anyway, that nigga said they talking West Coast rap like K dot don't exist. Laugh out loud, brother. We we ain't even got the K dot yet. Hey, he yeah, said, I, next right. thing I know, this nigga going to say Silk the Shocker was dope. <laughs> I said, hey, I owe Max like two of them because he said something. He said something stupid. And I'm going to get at you. I'm going to get at you, man. He Silk said something. Get at him. Yeah. Hey, hold on. We, we getting off course. Hold on. I want to get he, back to He said something about Southern Hip Hop. He said it. it what? Hip Hop or something. I seen one of the videos he said that. My, hey, 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 low key, though. Low key, though. Right. Hey, low key, like, we'll wow. get, that's a whole nother. I don't want to get too off topic, so let's save the. We got two. Say it, say it I got quick. two episodes of featuring you coming up, which was what what happened to the New York rappers, battle rap and hip hop, right? Where's the best new New York rappers, and what happened? Where is it at, right? We got that one, and oh, did man. did the South hurt? Did the rise of the South hurt hip hop as a whole? Said hurt hip hop. That's crazy. Mm. Hey, I, hey we can crazy. talk barbershop talk. We can talk Ooh. these controversial takes, but yeah, hey, it, it kind of did. I said it. What, 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 I said what, what, it. When it, I thought it, 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 it was hip hop bigger than ever. Hip hop became the number one genre of music, period. We heard it though. I didn't we was going down the trunk hustling. Jesus Christ. Y'all niggas, you in LA, you can go to Hollywood. Y'all niggas got freak out parties. Y'all do all the time. Y'all flipping yourself. Look at this nigga. Y'all do all that. New York, they got all the record labels. Freak off shit. And then this nigga, one of the, we're talking about Atlanta alone, is one of the the hubs. Nothing compares to LA. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing compares to the freak as far as, 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 as far as what? As far as what? Hey, the the freak you got Hollywood. You the got Hollywood. Oh the shit! Freak. Bro, you got to be a freak to go to Hollywood. Destroy the rap game, killer Mike over crooked eye. Uh, Tony, bro, we we I don't Man. know, kill. Tony, bro. I know you work out, you jog, you keep your, you, you know, what I'm saying you in Look, shape. Mike, we could talk. We might have to rest point. Point. In terms of projects, we may have to wrestle. In terms of putting out complete projects, Killer Mike is though. In terms of putting out complete bodies of work, Killer Mike is. Killer Mike over crooked eye. All right, I wasn't gonna putting together complete bodies of work. I didn't say. Well, Killer Mike. Oh, okay. All right, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Okay, yeah, he walk away with Grammys. All right, he just got three Grammys. These niggas put together good verses. We put together bodies of work so you can listen to it and live it and love it that's why y'all fell off y'all didn't want to get the hot verse and then i'm gonna I'm you know stand I mean? down on the on the crooked eye and killer mike see i'm gonna stand down for tonight only because y'all got okay. a point about the killer mike never dropped a good project. project i mean crooked eye never dropped a good project like a project yeah yeah yeah, yeah i'll give you that i'm i'm gonna I'm 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 fall back project. on that one y'all got that y'all got that one but uh now when we talk about the south uh we had ti uh, no, I uh keep talking about the south though you want to keep like what's up, man? Look, yo, yo. we ain't done because I, go ahead, I, go ahead, go ahead, I got go it. We going to the west. We going to the uh Chicago and Midwest. Let's go, let's we going go. to Detroit. I'm with you it, know, man. I'm with it. I'm the with best. It. What was the toughest time to rap when from the south? If you if you wanted to get your name up in the south, meaning from let's let's go to Atlanta, uh Memphis, uh New Orleans, Texas. Alabama, Mississippi, everything below what you said, Mason Dixon, right? Mason everything Dixon. In, under that, right? What was the toughest era? Oh, he says Cy yeah. High yeah. and yeah. Electronica from the South, too. I'm just saying. And, and yeah. Cy High, one of my personal favorite rappers. Another really. punchline, nigga. Nothing but punches. That's it. You don't I like, like no niggas with bars. You want to just hit bars. niggas with punch rapping back to back. But I like bars. I'm a bar guy. God damn. Man, man we like That's just my thing. That's just my thing. 
We want to hear Trey something. Trey Masai, Masai, Masai is the best to me, and yeah, I yeah, agree. The bar guy. Of course, the bar guys don't like to do with the bars. Look, I think I the toughest time in the South, though, is like the early 90s, though. You know what I mean? Maybe like the, I guess, late 80s. All the way to like the, from the south, yeah. Because who who was popping in the eighties from the south? When when did the when did the south uh I'm, explode I'm, onto the hip hop scene? What what particular record group or artist put the south on the map? I mean, it got to be like Ghetto Boys or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or Luke. Yeah. Or, or outcast. Or I outcast. ain't even know Luke was from the no, South. No, because Luke, I ain't know where that nigga was from. See, I didn't see, know. Well, you because Luke like gonna tell you a lot of the a lot of the genres came yeah. from the South. Came from him. He gonna tell you that. Ooh. I seen him wait, say wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. But who, who did Luke? Who came from under Luke? That was like. See, that's why we, we can't. See what we're saying is arbitrary. What we are saying is arbitrary. This is just. Just our opinions, no so, solid facts behind it, unless we get some of these guys that were there and Luke, did this. Luke didn't come before the ghetto boys, though. I'm not game. saying he did, but that that the Miami sound and that that heavy bass that was just bass. They did those bass tape that helped. That but, helped but, but, but David, was that hip hop though. You can I make mean, an argument that that bass music. They called it. You they, can put they, that they in the hip hop, man. I, I don't know what else, what else would you call it. They called it my own bass. They didn't call it hip hop. Right. You can make an argument that that was his own genre. You can make an yeah. argument that was his own genre. What else would you call it? He said DJ Mag. Hey, Luke. Hey, we. Y'all hit the like button where y'all are here. Please do. We can't wait. Hold on. Luke, when did he come? One at a time. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. When I think of hip-hop, when I think of hip-hop, I'm not thinking about Miami bass. You know what I'm saying? To me, Miami bass is kind of its own thing. He said, look with that big booty bass. Because I don't look at, hey, we want to party. That's hip hop. That that's not hip hop. You chant, you just chant into a bass beat. I got that's you. That's not really hip hop. To DJ me. Magic Mike. Uh, yeah. Nobody respected the South uh, for, for, for as far as quality till the Ghetto Boys, UGK, Outcast, and Goody Mouth. Okay. Like, well, who did you know I, before I can, the I agree Boys with this one. From the South. Because look, we didn't look at Luke like no rapper for real. Like, Luke was just talking right. music. Right. He was just chanting. He, he, was he was a rapper. He was chanting. Yeah, he was like, exactly. yeah, ten. He was like well, doing yeah. like that's all he was doing. He was he like doing rap. like what? the old he was doing went, what they did. The, went to the court hip hop with speech. When the MC would uh say my DJ such and such in uh some some you know like the old Luke MC went to was, court for freedom of speech. Without him, we have nothing from D Harris. Without him, we have nothing. He went to court he, for this. With the uh, they, they was the trying to they were trying to shut down his albums and say it was too lewd and too. And, yeah, and he fought, but that's he cool. Fought. I'm not mad at that. Give him I, that. You'll give him that. Look, it's a lot of Luke songs. Right. If I'm in the club, hold on, hold, hold uh -huh. the and the girls, you know. What I'm okay. Saying? Yeah. But then, yeah, wasn't it? Wasn't Ice T that had the first parental advisory sticker though? I'm not sure who was the I first. Was, I, think, but I, think, I know Cop Killer was super controversial, and that was I, I, thought, I thought it was Ice T. I thought it was. It might have been. The first it might have been. Yeah, uh, that's what, yeah, Tony, Tony Bro. Yeah, it was call and response. That's what Luke was doing. That's shit what, took some wild ass beats. It was it was hip hop. So Tony bro hip -hop. Said it was hip hop. That's what Luke was doing. We talking about the bass because they used to have just bass, like just bass tapes. Like DJ Magic Mike, it'll be just bass. Like boom. I, like, I see it was in core Master P and No Limit is what really shook the shot. What was uh, shook the south? Um, uh, Master P and No Limit naming a bunch of people, but the thing is, I'm gonna say this right, Master uh -huh. P, like in the south, I'm gonna say this, like the early 90s. Late 80s, yeah, that's when guys were having to out the trunk with it. They had to learn how to produce because we ain't what? no producers, they had to, you know, what I mean, make their own studio at home. That's why, if you listen to some of the old stuff, it sounds so grimy, you know what I'm saying? Old Master so, Who Who's the best rapper from No Limit? Who the best rapper mm. from No Limit that hold when they went when uh, I think uh, Mac Mac was on there, right. Yeah, Mr. Fiend, uh, Mr. Servon, uh, Mystical, uh, uh, Mystical, Mystical, uh, uh, and uh, Abel, the brothers, right? The twins, yeah, yep, yep, Mia, Abel. was Mia X Mia with X. them? Yep, yep, she yeah, was with them. Yeah, she wasn't with Cashman. Okay, she was, she was. who was the best one? If if you had to say 
the, I, you got to have one was it, was it like a soul no soul limit soul album soul? in your in your so collection. Which one? Which, which album would it be? If I what? Like you said the best rapper or the best album, come okay. On, well, both. Who's the best I, rapper and what was the best like, album? Well, well I, I used to rock. I used to rock to the first C Murder album. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So all right. I, I, all right. I used, I used to rock the uh the first C album, uh the joint when he was sitting in the chair. He was sitting in the chair and it was like a um it was like an electrocution chair. Young bleed. Whatever. Ooh, young bleed, man. He said mystical mystical was a monster at, at uh one point. Cool. Uh Mr. Young Bleed. Cool monster. He cool. said, Oh, well, he, he said Snoop had the best album out of the he, no limit. He did. Um he did. Oh, the, uh which one? Game, game to be sold, not to be told, or or the last one? None, none of them. None of them. None of them was better than Ghetto though. Hey, you know the what? Best though? Rap on No Limit was Fiend to me. To me, a lot okay. of people say Mac. A lot of people like Mac, and like, they like Mac. They, they like C Murder too. too. Yeah, yeah, C Murder. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking yeah, about rap. Last time actually rap. was actually fucking fire. Low key, no bullshit. The last, the last time, time was, was actually a good album. But Ghetto Dope just in in that uh. And yeah, ghetto, double, ghetto, ghetto, yep. double this. Uh, true to the game. <laughs> Listen, man. the last meal. Okay, you talking about the last meal when because last, that's last when he meal. was getting out of his contract with uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his third. That was his third he, album. He was with, getting uh, out with no limit. He yeah. said, "Dog, <laughs> life or death though. album." That was the last album we should, though. God, he said, the, "The dog father was whack." Uh, uh, was ass, but that one on no limit though. See, murder was probably the right. first live. What he say, rapper? He the first uh, thing there's one in every family. Oh, I like thing, I like street. I like street life though. Fiend street life. That was oh, so like y'all know y'all shit. Y'all know y'all shit. See, y'all yeah. know y'all shit. So during all right now, the New York 90, 1990s, all these MCs are vying for power, vying for control of being that guy, you know. And we'll take let's let's just exclude Jay and Nas because in longevity wise. And right. albums, record sales, and everything—they kind of surpassed, like pretty much, I guess, all the New York rappers, if I'm not mistaken. Out, oh, sure. let, let's not count, count them. LL? Oh, LL, yeah, LL. You got to count LL. Yeah. LL is still—he's still—he's still coming out with records and shit. You got to give him that. Yeah, his yeah, he got longevity. He got to be in God tier status for sure. Right. He's got to be in God tier status. Yeah, I think I, I think the I the, the, the records for the ladies just kind of yeah. outshine his actual. Skill set and and um I mean, cannabis when cannabis said, thing, has, has LL ever lost the battle? I don't think he's ever lost the battle. LL Kumo I, gotta, uh, I go I back to that LL, that uh because you know uh, what he did that one of his greatest bars because remember cannabis said 99% of your fans wear high heels. And he, and he said, said 99, 99 percent of your friends don't exist. Don't exist. That was a one-liner. It was a one-liner, but you damn near ended the battle. You Listen. damn near ended the battle with that one line, bro. LL is not to be played with when it comes to that that battle rap shit. Listen. Salute to Listen. freaking Listen. LL Cool J, man. Listen. God damn it. Look, look, look. For a nigga to slight, for a nigga to try to slight LL because he got a bunch of female fans is right. super crazy now, right? Back then, <laughs> it, it seemed like a lot of hip hop niggas was like kind of like gay, like for real. Like these niggas were kind of yeah. gay. They ain't want the women around. You if you making women records and you got a bunch of women at the shows, yeah, because you know, it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard. Yeah. But yo, for real, but what I love about LL is he made the lady records, but if you tested him, he stood on his square. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, 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 yeah. Facts, so facts. Hands he still was with the dumb shit. He, yeah, he always was with all. He was with he all the stupid shit. He, Salute he to LL. Cole. LL should have called J Cole. Like yo, yo, the young boy. What you doing, son? Let doing? me show you. Say what you. I need to have a sit down with you. We need to. We need to see what's what, man. You for real? You need. Like, what are you doing? He said him and Drake are similar. Talking about LL, LL and Drake. I, I, I can see the comparisons because, you know, make a hit hit record for the ladies. Uh, you know, you know, but look, oh yeah, I want to say this. I was listening. Uh, when y'all was talking I'll, I'll about. I'll go after you. I'll go after you. When y'all, what, what? Hit what the I like button, y'all. Please hit the like button. Oh, the, the three rappers from the '90s or whoever y'all name to right and compare them to Cole and Kendrick and Drake and all that, right? Yeah. Hey, I was naming yeah. some niggas. You said Jizzle. We ain't heard Jizzle diss nobody, man. 
We don't know. I said just no, 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 no. That's just, the first. No, no, no. I, no, no, no. I said oh, no. I ain't even talking. No, 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 no. I wasn't even necessarily talking about who this, who or who, who was a battle rapper. You talking, talking about, about just take your yeah, take your best but three talking about niggas. Though. If it's competitive, niggas get yeah, competitive. Yeah, well, fuck Them it. Niggas 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 niggas. can be competitive. Them niggas All right, niggas hey, hey, bro. Which one of them niggas better than Jizza? Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick. At rapping. None of them. None of them. It's just rapping? Well, well, K. Dot, K. Dot might have uh, a... Yeah, we talking uh, about uh, Jizza still is Mike. colder. I'm from the West, so I got Jizza over, over Kendrick. Jizza is the most lyrical. Jizza not even the best rapper in Wu-Tang. I think he best. is, though. He's the most I mean, lyrical. He, he, I you think could, he you is. Could you could debate it. Method you Man is the it. best rapper. I'm talking about pure rapper, like flows, pockets. Uh, Probably you flows, can give him that for sure. Styles. Yeah, because because Meth the Meth can like overall. Mike. Yeah, we talking about. Yeah, right. we talking about, about no, nah, we talking about overall. But I about thought we talking overall. about this. Method ain't no battle, nigga. Method back down from Joe Budden when Joe was like, <laughs> "Let's get on the mic, pause." The nigga Method like man, battle rapper. None of them better than Jizza. Just the best what lyricist. Said, Look, I, I uh, Ghost the best in the woo. Ghost that's the that's best debatable. The, Ghost the best. That's debatable. The that's best, debatable. The best artist in the woo. You can say you can say three, four niggas in the woo. And, and, I, I and, said and it, Tony Brown. This is the pure best, the best pure rapper in Wu Tang. I said it. I agree with you. Lyricist. He's the best pure lyricist. But he Ch don't Cap rap better than Method Man, bro. If him and Method Man get on track, we gonna remember everything Method Man said. But. I, Oh, but, but, but why? How this even branched off into this? Rapping, thing? You, you was talking about one of my picks. I said take today's big three, which is Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drake, versus any three from the '90s era, but and they can't, about, they really can't beat none of the big three from about any battle, three. You talking about in a battle because you prefaced it by talking Jeff, about Cole. Period. Right like from. Yeah, they they go. You got these three. Can they rap better? Can they make a better verse? And not a song. Let's not do songs. Are, That's a different about, skill set. Talking about Let's just testing. talk about nigga that gonna spit some raw rap. You got you got fifty bars. <laughs> Drop fifty bars right now. Drake, Kendrick, and Cole can't fuck with any of the three because if you said because he was talking about Nas, Jay Z, and Pop, I'm like, oh, you cheated. You know, like, so, who's battle. gonna beat them? Who's battle. gonna beat them? He named people that be battling. You named y'all next. The I'm just names, talking about rap, period. Like, like rappers. We were talking about battling, though. That's what the whole J. Yeah. Cole conversation came from. Like, battle, yeah. like niggas who backing down. Oh, oh, oh. J. Yeah, all of the okay. can say the best no more. In, in that case, he can say he the best still. Who? Who? Ooh. I'm saying in that in that case, because Jizzle and all them niggas ain't never they ain't never diss nobody or battle nobody. Man, Jizzle drop a cold verse on on J Cole, so crazy. Cole will really rethink himself. So, He'll be like, you know part. what? Jizzle drop that. You don't want that smoke. Look, look, I'll tell you that. Look, Jizzle drop a verse on a nigga because he he'll drop a verse. Okay. Ninety nine percent of the people ain't gonna Let understand what he's talking about, and then half of that one percent <laughs> that's left ain't gonna give a damn to try to dissect. It. Oh, Hold on, bro. Gonna sound good. It ain't gonna sound good, probably. The beat probably gonna be ass. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, he's gonna go. He, nah, he, he probably gonna go to uh, Rizzo or Mathematics and get a get a nice little joint or like, two like, master. Look, 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 See, look, look, look. He said nobody wanted to battle Jizza. Certain yeah, biggest I mean, people just stayed nah, away from. I don't know. Why that, that, that was an, it was because you wasn't gonna get no points. Going against Jizza, you not you, gonna you, get no points for going bro. against Jizza. Ain't nobody not like gonna know who you're talking about. Right? They gonna be like, who not, the hell not, is GZ? Not like if you would have went against Meth or or, or or Ghost or one of the big fish. You Maybe he wasn't the most popular. Fish. Listen, that's Jizza wasn't the most it. popular Wu Tang member. Why, that's why nobody I, went at him. I man, let that's me see. Why. Oh my God, man! I see. I wish. I wish. I I'll tell you that. I wish I had known earlier today that I actually was going to do this because, like I said, this was more of a whim. Like, let me do a hip-hop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I actually would have got Method Man on the phone so they could debate their own shit. I want... Because Method... I want Method to tell y'all what the rest of the Wu-Tang niggas felt about Jizza. And maybe no, no, Meth... Yeah, maybe Meth, Meth will tell you... Hey, maybe Meth will say... I low key probably feel like I was better than Jizzle, but I don't know. Or he might say, say he might say, 
Yeah, Jizzle was better than, than all of us. You know what I'm saying? Say, we, say. we couldn't fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I think, well, Beth, I think, Beth, 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 asking, I think maybe asking Raekwon would be more... That would be more... You know, that's the best way to do it. Ask Raekwon. Because cause a lot of niggas had Raekwon is the best. I mean, hey, if he had to put out more work, though... Let me say right and, and Ghostface. Ghostface, I I tell you this though, <laughs> I, I, I don't think I don't Ray. think nobody dropped. Yeah, Ghost clearly over Ray. He's I don't think. The best out of what? Ray. Wait a minute. Wait, I sound like Tay Rock now. Nigga, <laughs> Tay Rock said what? Hold yeah, on. I put Ghost, I put Ghost over Ray for sure. Oh, wear the fucking boxing gloves. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Hold on. Maybe I maybe I don't know. Then he said this conversation is goaded. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> yeah. Fire. But look, hey, though. Hey, Tony bro, hey, pull up, Tony hey, Tony bro, bro like, pull up. no. I, the reason why I'm yeah, not gonna, up, the reason why I'm not gonna, uh, up, <laughs> Tony. All right, man. I'm gonna try because I think my layout is messed up. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop. Oh, I got you, bro. Drop, drop hold on. Code. I'm gonna drop the call. I ain't code. gonna say the other thing. But look, though. <laughs> no, dig. Nobody in Wu Tang. <laughs> Drop a better project than Supreme Clientele, and I stand on that. And I do yeah, not, right. you're not gonna go, you finna go get Cuban links, and it's between only you, you're gonna go get Method Man to Cal, blah blah. Mm, nigga. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. It's, talk it's about the, the only two, the only one what? I can think of. Supreme Clientele is a, is a, I think he got five mics, if I'm not mistaken, bro. It don't even matter if it did. It, it, it don't what? matter if it, it, it don't matter. It, if what, it did. what are you, what are you saying? It's a classic. I don't care what nobody said about it. It's a classic, it. right? It's a classic. Yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic. Now, now, did another Wu Tang artist put out a better project than that? Cuban Link. That Cuban yes or Link, no? Man. That Cuban Link. O o only built for Cuban Links. Yeah. Hold on, man. What's a common denominator? I can't see you because oh, there you go. Now, now we we cut we cut Andre off. Hold on, so I told y'all oh, my, my layout is messed up. I got I got to duck down, y'all. Right, hold on, I got you. All hey, right, cuz don't get Yuri. <laughs> we wait on Tony Bro to pull up. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fix this shit, man. I'm a damn man. I can oh, fix uh, it. Yeah, I can hear right. you. Okay, yeah. Now, what's going on, man? Can you add to this? Can you can you add to this? See if I can. Uh, <laughs> Ball that one nigga up again like I did last time. Oh, you talking about G Roll? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know you lose me. Y'all niggas is crazy. Yeah. Marco, hey, Tony, bro, you see what I'm talking about? He said Supreme Clientel, one of the best albums ever made. And I, and I like I said, <laughs> I yeah, believe it. We're not debating. Bobby Digital was fired. Hey, <laughs> hey, Skin Quan. I had that album. Bobby Digital, Bobby was, Digital was actually fired by RZA, but it was not it's better fired. than some, bro. Let's not do no, this. No, 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 no. It won't. Yeah, it won't that. If, you, yeah, if you're gonna fight, only built for Cuban links. If you're gonna fight with that one, we gotta fight. I mean, we just going to Cal. Bobby. Somebody just said to Cal was kind of mid. I didn't like to Cal. That, that was oh, I'm Tony Carter. Go ahead, cause uh, what what what's going on? You gonna bar this man up? Hold on, let me see if I get Tony Bro on here. Uh. Like I said, my my joint is off. Now I done took Andre all the way off the screen. Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's, yo, it's cool, Danny. Yeah, I'm, uh, I, I do I'm see it's kind of. I, I see your shit is kind of lagged up. Yeah, your thing is kind of lagged up. All, all right, all right, stuff, right, all right, Michelle. Anyway, Man. Tony, bro, welcome. Thank you yo. for. <gasps> Pulling up for this this legendary convo, man. Here, man, I love what's going on. Man. Man, brothers, man. Said zero thirty, this so, dude. <laughs> yo, yo, Supreme clientele is that. You know, what I'm saying Iron Man is that. You know what I mean? Like, like I think out of Wu Tang, Ghostface probably makes the best, consistently the best projects. And if you want to say built for Cuban links, Ghostface is the co-host on that. You know what I'm saying? Like he's the they're both on the cover, you know what I'm saying? Like right, right, right. Like bulletproof wallets. Like, first of all, these title names is bulletproof wallets. Like, what? Like, <laughs> like what are you doing? You know what I mean? So, but I all right. So here's here's my little breakdown of the rule. Jizza is the best pure rapper, straight up. Method Man, the reason why everybody loves him, he has the best flow out of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Ghost is okay. the most, Ghost is the most creative. Raekwon has the drug mafioso talk down to a T. 
Nobody else could touch him in that category. Down to a science, right? They're all strong in each category. And back then, like I said, certain <laughs> niggas you just did not engage with. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just <laughs> you not engaging with him, like everybody, yo, chill out, chill out on Jizzle. Like it's just not, it's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? He's rapping at too much of a high level. This nigga teaches courses at Ivy League schools, bro. The art of rap. He's teaching this shit at Yale and Harvard. Like he's really there. Like adjunct professor shit. It's just, it. We talking a different level. That that type of MC don't even exist no more. So. Damn, Damn man. I, I want to say the big three for me growing up was always Nas, Jay Z, and DMX. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, and they hate DMX, DMX over Biggie. <sighs> no, ah! I can't. You know what? You know what? Objectively, object because Big died at 24, right? DMX got like what five, six number one albums and shit. And we got okay, like, okay, I'll give you that. Upset, so it's I'll tough, that. Like, you know, Big. <laughs> He died after making that second album, right? So it's like he didn't even really right, finish. right, right, right. You gotta say X, man. X first three albums is fucking goaded. Them first, them first two dropped the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, it's yeah, dark and hell is hot and yeah. flesh in my flesh, right? Flesh, you, blood of my blood was even, second. You know what I'm saying? You can't even like like quantify that. You feel what I'm what saying? What was his third album? The third was, and then there was X, and then there, and then was, there was X. Okay, yeah, was right. Like, you can't even you can't even quantify that shit, you know what I mean? So and uh you know I, I just I I feel like man like that that type of lyricism, man, that shit is gone. Niggas is going for impressions and TikToks and challenges and all this stupid shit. So you know, we done lost the plot in this motherfucker, you know what damn. I mean? Damn. So <laughs> damn that, that's that's a good take. Yeah, uh if if if, if cool G rap and black thought walk into a room, which one of them walks out? <laughs> Whichever one got to use the bathroom first. I don't know. Nah, they, 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 they walk in the room. <laughs> they 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 got to wrap their way out the room. Only oh, one can leave. Prime, rap and Black Thought. Prime, Prime. I'm prime right. Black Thought. No, you said Prime, prime Cool G. Cool G. I'm G. Cool G. Still nice. I'm Can't going to rap Ben and Coogee, bro. Nobody I might, I might have to go. I might have to go with <laughs> Black Thought, but that's not. That's a crazy question. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's like, it's like there's no right answer, but both of them wrong. Like it's somehow, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a. That's like a coin flip, bro. That's, that's they're gonna walk out together. Bro. They're gonna stop and walk out together. Yo, right? Like they're gonna have to make. They were gonna. They're gonna break down the wall and make another door. All right, I'll, I'll give you but that. See, look, that's, that's the only reason I say Cool G, right? Because it seemed like Black Thought peaked at an older age. Like he hit forty, and that's when he started peaking. Cool G Rap was a young man. Was out the like, gate with the dumb shit. It was like Blueprint. he was doing that type of rap when niggas was like, "Yo, bro, what is he doing? We want to dance and kind of like get a quota, but this nigga rapping like yeah." Emotionally. The, yeah. the record that him and Nas got together and shit. Fast life. Fast life. Fast and life. You hear the influence, man, from everything from I mean, from him, you get Nas, you get Jay, you get Pun, you get just every Ray. That's you get true. Ray and Ghost. You get like, Ray and you Ghost. Can't, there's just yeah, Ray and Ghost. Yeah, I gotta go with Cool G walking out that room, bro. Oh, I, I when you when you when you like put all this in the forefront right. and you really look at it. Yeah, yeah, Black Thought I'm probably would have to take a back seat. He yeah. might. It's a tough fight, but yeah, man, I got Cool G, bro. Old, old man, Black Thought is incredible though. Like that, Nigga, that hot, that, that that funk flex shit he did. Oh man, the the shit he was doing with uh the the streams of thought and all that stuff that he was doing. Streams like, of thought was incredible. Just like what the fuck, nobody's rapping like that, bro. Like that's just <laughs> that nigga different. A he rapping like just... he's trying to prove something though. Yeah, exactly. Well, That's trying to I mean. prove that you don't die at forty, my nigga. Like, so, like I feel like I'm almost forty. I feel like I'm the smartest, wisest person I've ever been right now. You know what I'm saying? So See? it's just like you know, what he was trying to prove to these young niggas, like, listen, bro, <laughs> y'all not fucking with me, bro. Y'all not. You know, what it's what I'm the, it's today's it's today's era of lyricism. How far below is today's level? Versus the the level of the nineties and the like early two thousands. That's a great. Or question. is it or is it the same level to you? I don't know. Let me, let me explain. Nah, bro, that shit is like, way low. 
Man, yeah, yeah it's low. I can't like, listen to these. Mo- I can't even listen to these people no anymore. Oh, and just shit. just want to be real. Niggas that we thought was okay, like okay, all right. I'm a big fan of Noriega, right? Like I'm a big right. fan right. of right. I never thought uh, he was Flint. I, I love his albums, right? But at the time, he was considered a subpar lyricist. Listen to Nori right now. Listen right now. This nigga is spitting compared to this shit. I like went down this listening to Nori. Average MCs, I, us, it listen, was rap bro, Tom, was around this shit. Tom, Tom, bro, listen, bro. See, I know it. Right? See, but the thing is, is yeah, lyricism yeah, don't sell. Lyricism don't sell. It ain't like the '90s anymore. It ain't like the early 2000s anymore. Lyricism is not selling. But listen, these though. these 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 blacks don't want to hear lyricism. Well, they want to hear. Hold on, hold on. Because now, when you say that, and you say the big three would be uh Kendrick, J Cole, and um Drake, right? Niggas and they know. are today's as many. So. They the best lyricists, right? Today. They're and they're selling. They're the big three for a reason, be- not just because of the raps. And they do sell the most. They do sell more. And they're the selling. Guys. So when you say lyricism don't sell, it's like they kind of like are the, the exception. Are they're like the exception to the rule. True. The, right. All the lyricists are I would give them. I would say they're the exception. Yeah, exactly. They're the exception. You know, they're not the rule. They're not the rule. They're the exception to the rule. See, look, for the, the most thing. part. I, for the I most think, part, I think Benny is come on, in man. the same league. I think Benny lyrically is in the same like league as like a Cole, for instance, but he doesn't sell as many records. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, okay, like even in, even if you do like okay, even with the South, like I remember the first time I heard Rosa Parks by Outcast, and I was like, this shit right here, like this right here, the way Andre is rapping, the way Big Boy is rapping right now, this is high level. Like this shit right here is. This is a different class of MC. You feel what yeah. I'm but it yeah, but yeah, it doesn't sell for a couple of reasons. A lot of the lyricists don't really know how to make records. That's why a lot of yeah. them, back in the day, the lyricists used to pair up with a Dr. Dre or with guys who you know what I mean. Puff right, Puff, right. His Puff, name, he's yeah. non grata, but he can help you make a record. Like Big just had. I, I, you know I, I always yeah. noticed a lot of lyricists are bad on picking beats. They're mm. bad on. They're bad on. on That's what harass has in cannabis. Yeah, they're they're, they're bad early on early Nas, not not yeah. early Nas, but later yeah. on yeah. in Nas's career, they were like his his beat selection. That was that was, that was a propaganda man. Nas ain't never had no bad beats, man. Nah. Nah. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Me and Cuzzo <laughs> threw. Me and Cuzzo <laughs> threw the. What was that? What was that album we threw out the window of Nas? <laughs> was that the nigga album? Nigga, I, I don't know nigga if it was nigga or or the nigga I, I, I was yeah, pointing we, in, in Streets yeah, Disciple. I, I ain't like Streets Disciple. Right right we, we, yeah, we I broke. No, nah, it was the like, nigga album. I we broke that. the album and threw it out the window. See, that it, shit was I, so tragic. It took for him to get with, uh, you, first of all, Life is Good, I think, is a classic, but I think it, it, you know, it, it is. That, it is. That was a shift for him. And then now the shit that he's been doing lately. With Hit Boy. With Hit Boy. With Hit Boy from the yeah. IE from my neck of the woods. That's yeah, right. Man, listen, man, you need them producers bro. like for a lot of lyricists. Bro. They bad at that shit. Historically. Listen, happened. listen. Look, look, look. Look. The only album he can name was that double disc he did. Because we just said Steel Matter was a classic. Uh, God, son, we because we're not gonna talk about niggas stuff still was getting on Nas. They you you never really that heard about say bro, 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 Nas hooked up with Nas hooked up with bro, 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 Nas hooked mean, up with Dr. Dre, and Dr. Right. Dre couldn't even sell. Dr. Dre couldn't even sell Nas. What you talking about? You ain't have to sell huh? the great on the firm. When 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 Nas yeah, hooked up with Dr. Dre for the firm, nigga, wait, that was wait, a flop. Wait, 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 wait. went platinum. But you said Drake couldn't sell. He said Nas. I went platinum. He said the album went platinum. He went platinum. He he did. Well, Nas Drake must did. have bought all the albums. <laughs> nah, that shit, that shit went platinum, but it was supposed to do more than what it did. It was supposed, it was supposed to be like a song. super group. Nas was on yeah. four songs. And that, that album was not that good. No. I mean, it had his songs that was cannabis. Good, cannabis but, had the best verse on that bitch on on nah, Desperado. He, he didn't, but he did, but uh, he, he did though. Nah, because you had five minutes. You had uh, man, you had a bunch. Like it was a bunch. Of, it was a few songs. Uh, better, nature, better nature than got- cannabis's verse. Bro, nobody kept. Listen, man. All right, cool. Wow. cool. Not about to do that. Cool. Nobody that, what? Nobody yeah. care about cannabis. Bro, we might do cool. You got it, bro. That's for a horseman. Hey. <laughs> 
I don't like what I'm saying. Don't do that. Listen to what I'm saying, though. What I'm saying is, Dr. Dre didn't help Nas. Dr. Dre head fell off. Nas was there with Dre. With that firm really? app, Dre fell off. Fell off. When? When did Dre, Dre fall off? Dre? What? What did nigga Dre no, fall off? No, he didn't fall off with that. He didn't fall off with that aftermath album. He fell off. He did fall off with that aftermath album. He came out the East West with that with that ring. With that ring. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He fell off with that ring. Yeah, yeah, that was the aftermath album. Yeah, that was the aftermath album. That shit was trash. 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 That Okay. Come on, and they said they claim he got a fall off for real. Yeah. So Nas was trying to help. So what? I think it was fell off for like a year. I think it fell off for like a year or two before Marshall Mathers came into. And he got it. And then he fell off. He fell off for like three or four years. Let's get it right, because the nigga ain't do no work since '95. He didn't. They said he wasn't producing no records. The nigga still kicked the nigga off the label in the '95, and then but he helped produce dog food. He didn't. Daz produced that. I, I said, said he helped. I know Daz produced a lot of it, but he, Dre he was in there it. with them, bro. He mixed it and mastered it. He oh, didn't okay. And Daz, All right. Daz said he didn't do that. He just put his name on stuff. But that's beside the point. After 95, we weren't hearing from Dre no more. Except for except for All alive. Eyes on Me. He, he went and regrouped. Except for All Eyes on Me. Man, they did that song and they did that song with Papa. There y'all go, y'all battling again. What's next? Except Dad's for all cool. eyes on me, Dad's California Dad's Love. That's the anthem. California Love is the anthem. He did that, but that that was the first song but, 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 Pop that, got on from him. That was in '95 when Pop first came home. And Dre and, and okay. made him give him the song. Doesn't Dre get a lot of credit for shit Daz did though? I thought he that does. Was, he he did, yeah, a, a, yeah. He got he get he get credit for a few joint and a few yeah, other people. A lot a of bunch of producers there, yeah, man. a lot of great area there. Like yeah. like Pac will say, he like man, this nigga ain't making no beats. He trying to put his name on stuff, and then people tell him who really made the beat. And then when Pac started bombing on him, mm. the nigga Dre was gone. We ain't hear from Dre. You see what I'm saying? Until now, I said, look, Dre, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you come do half of this album. Y'all talking about. <laughs> Like Nas was helping that nigga, man. Come on, man. Damn. What? Nas, Nas was, was helping. What the Nas had? Damn. Nas, Nas had, had what? Nostradamus? Nostradamus? Before then? Not, what? What did Nas have? Nostradamus? Don't bring that up. What? Are you not? Don't bring that up. What? He said, "Don't bring it up." Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Because remember, remember when you bought the IM CD? When you look into the cover, it's like coming soon, Nostradamus. Yeah. And Nas got that fucking like he. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, yo, I can't wait till Nostradamus comes out. I ran and bought that shit. Lord have mercy, bro. But bro Man. So y'all didn't get the leak, the double album. Hold on. Elite, it had elite. Y'all didn't get that. Let me ask y'all this real, real quick. Off the, not even off subject, but did did the streaming era help or hurt hip hop? Hurt. I think it hurt it. It hurt it because hurt. because it hurt it in two ways. Number one, it's a lot of fucking trash, right? And we in the stream era in the impressions era, right? And then the other thing is, it's a lot of good work that just gets overlooked because now you know hip hop has become like such a commodity to where you know what I'm saying? Nigga can't just sit and listen and and let a project breathe. Like I remember right. uh, listening to Hard Knock Life on tape. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and flip that motherfucker, and you know what I'm saying? Like Volume Two and shit. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. But I think I got to really sit down with that music and appreciate it, and you know what I'm saying? Everything from the production to the lyrics and all that. And so. The way people consume music is like how they consume fast food. Yeah, it's microwave shit. You know what I'm saying? And, like, and remember, way, the only way I'm going to say... You, you remember, know what? I'm going to say the only to way... The, uh, music store what? and getting the, the CD and ripping man, the, the warehouse, plastic off the warehouse. Man. Yeah. And you and you open the disc, you take the disc out, and you you get in the man. insert, the book. And you, re you read, read the whole... And, and you, you read, read it. From top to bottom. The man. thank you, who produced all what? the you dedications, the and it was a whole experience. And then yeah. you the put it in the CD rack with your other CDs or in your CD book where you didn't want to get that motherfucker scratched. Yep. But that, that experience was it, you was more connected to the music and the, the audience, except, as facts, opposed facts. to just 
I you just push play and you listen to it and, and it, take the book and just man, you know the only the only way yeah. it did help the, you know the only way streaming, you know the only way the only thing I will say streaming in my opinion helped hip hop is the bootlegging. Oh, like streaming. Said, oh, true. It's it's streaming. It's it stopped all it stopped. the bootleg man from being uh, out there on the on the corners with the the the, the big ass it, book. It, it, I got that new Jay Z. Yeah, yep. it did. On the memory, it, on the memory, helped him that way. And I used <laughs> to be looking for him too. I used to be looking for the bootleg <laughs> man too. Like shit. it did help. It, it helped it, but, <laughs> but, but, but it helped him that way. Thirteen. I'm you say like shit. See, look, no, you're right, cuz oh, no, you're right. That's a great point, cuz oh, you're right. You're right. So, yo, let me yeah. add this point though, real quick. Right, I think. The straight, I think because we older, right? We probably don't listen to music like we did when we was early 20s. Oh, I gotta answer your phone. Like, My bad. My bad. <laughs> nah, you good. <laughs> yeah. Like, like now, teenage years, older, uh, early 20s, we probably playing music like every minute of the day that we could. So the younger artists are benefiting from the streaming numbers because their streams are crazy and they're making a lot of money. Because they got the younger fan base that's listening, but we're not listening to like music all the time, you know what I mean? So, I think the older artists they'll probably be able to sell physical, uh, uh, albums, yeah. merch and do shows, and the younger artists are benefiting from the stream, you know what I mean? And they, when they fan base ages, then they'll start suffering, and the streaming won't be beneficial, like with Snoop. Like I, I, I want to. I'm gonna test you, Tony Bro. And now you got a great point, G Ro. Tony Bro, because you're from you know New York. Mm -hmm. Best better, better hip hop duo. You got Helter Skelter, or are we going with uh MOP? Oh man, <laughs> Lord, I'm going Helter Skelter. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, he passed. Man, he passed. I was dead. Man, I, was, man, I hope so. Man, I hope so. Man, I was, I was texting you, and yeah, you passed. Man. Listen, sometimes up. you gotta, you might have to <laughs> test a nigga to see where he he really at with this shit. You feel yeah, me? Man. Helter Skelter drop Nocturnal. Yeah, and that yeah. album is incredible. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my man Rock on here too. I'm a, I'll be seeing him doing his shit too uh, every night watch his show, but that, yeah, and then you say, well, MOP had anti up. Yeah. They'll say, this is what niggas gonna tell you. They're gonna say, well, if that's the case, Danny, if that's the case, Tony, bro, name uh, a, a, a better song from Helter Skelter than Annie Up. Or, or man, or, that song was I, Annie Up is a fire ass yeah. song, bro. That's yeah. it. You know, I still listen to the old shit because of that shit. Right. You put that. That shit still so gets you high. Well, how the hell are you gonna say Helter Skelter? But the Helter Skelter was lyrically nice, right? Fucking right. facts. And I like Dos Effects. I, I like for real, man. They were I like, like Dos Effects too and shit. Like I, I just got in the Sean Price like a year ago. Danny, I got you. Camp Low or Helter Skelter. I'm, I'm so, uh, that's tough. I'm, I'm still gonna I, go. Yo, Skelter, man. Was kind of ahead of their time. Now, let me let me ask you a there question because of of right, so. there you go. Five, let four, me ask three, you a question. That is the song, and I'm I, I'm going with that over anti up. No, no bullshit. Let, let me let me ask you a question, cuz oh did did has hip hop failed because it moved away from messaging? Hmm. It did. And I ain't gonna say it failed, but it, it definitely dropped the ball from songs that with messages like uh think about self destruction and and dear mama and and Brenda's got a baby. I mean, All these it, songs it, that it, had it, actual it, messages, and we don't really every get album that. had a remember every album. I would get a lot of albums so I can go to that one song where I can hear the where I can hear the the artists rap about their life and what they yeah. went through and so on and so forth and i mean i don't really listen to a lot of this new stuff so i don't know if they talk about it or not but it don't really seem like like dear mama wouldn't i, I don't think that that type of song would sell today Do you, you, so you don't, uh, if dear mama dropped today would it still have the impact that it had when it did drop because that shit Broke records. I remember that shit was like the number one song for like a year straight. I remember this. Like, right. Like I don't like yeah. and it seemed like hip hop got away from messaging. It got away from and messaging. Now it's just now That's it's just party and 
Kendrick it's and Kobe. It's party and bullshit. No, but Kendrick and Kobe, they they do that. Yeah, but those are exceptions, bro. You, you uh, I, I, I got exceptions. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Man. But, and, and, you know, well, we go with Joyner Lucas. Joyner Lucas. What you say, Tony, bro? What happened? What happened? What happened? I can't. I mean, because like the less the. Uh, I'm only saying that. Nothing. I looked at your face. Do it. Just be, <laughs> just Somebody do it. told me earlier that Joyner Lucas was not it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. He just be rapping fast, bro. Hold on, bro. Wait a minute. Hold on. He just be Hold rapping on. fast. The nigga literally don't say nothing. I just, I just can't do it. Okay, I, I got it. I don't know who y'all talking about, but I'm gonna check him out. I'm gonna check him out. Joyner Lucas. He's actually. Bro, that's what I'm saying, Tizzle. Like, what is they doing? Listen, he rap like he'll rap from the perspective of he'll he'll do a song about racism. That he'll do trash. white. That he'll do white. That never mind. Nope. Never mind. Bad. I ain't listening that's to him. Listen, it's too smart for his own good. Like, I'm not racist. Too much. You, Tony, you, bro, you never about racism that? from the perspective of a white guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too much. Yo, Tony, uh, did you not know about racism from the perspective of a white guy? I'm Yo, Tony, bro, uh, never mind. I'm gonna trust Tony. I'm gonna trust Tony on this. Tony sounds like my type of guy. I'm not listening to him. Never mind. I, 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 nation, it takes a nation of millions to hold us back, man. I'm with that P shit, like with that. You know what I'm saying? That Fuck, man. I thought no, we had no, something with Yo, look, 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 bro, Tom, bro. them niggas would have beat him up, bro. Like, them Yo, go, salute, 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 man. I know it's 4 a.m. out there. He said the best era was 1990 to 1996. You know what? Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of the years of the nineties. Man, yeah, right. that's a fact. You know what? I I like ninety to ninety six. I would actually take uh, the the what I call like the post Biggie and Pac era, which is like probably like from what like ninety seven all the way up to like oh three. For me, okay, that's that's where it was like. You had you had like prime eras of like Nas and Jay Z and and DMX and Cameron and Fab and see for me Tony that's when it started getting to me after after the the Pac and Biggie yeah kerfuffle as, as if you would allow me that's when I started seeing rap like I'm like uh oh this is kind of headed in the mess like this stuff is getting watered down that's when you've seen a lot of I mean the the little hat people. I don't really want to. I don't want to get my cousin uh, stream Man, taken down. But, but but the people with the little hats. Uh, it seemed like that's when they really started manufacturing a lot of artists and a lot of groups. And so a lot of it like turned me off after. I'm like, oh man, this is headed in a bro, bad I, way. I see what you're saying, bro. I just don't think it was quite there yet because you still had an element of like rawness. It wasn't quite as manufactured until later on, I feel like. I think like, you know, like I think like G-Unit and Dipset and, you know what I'm saying, and Fab and Cameron and, you know, all of that shit. Like, I didn't feel like that was like manufactured. The shit Rockefeller was doing and Jay-Z really coming to his own and Nas and X. I I mean, and even like shit. I, I can still, feel like, you on that. I feel, feel you on that. I'm not saying it was all bad. Big left, you know what I'm saying? Like early Busta Rhymes was like super creative and shit. You know, you had Red and Method Man with the, you know, the Blackout album, and then the you Blackout had, album, and Hell then yeah. you had that resurgence of like conscious rap. Look, that Blackout, crazy. That raucous, that raucous records era. That sound the rocket, era. I just, I just said it. Well, I, that, agree. That, I, that do, I do, I do, I, I, but I seen. You know, a lot of the and, and you know that is true because a lot of the stuff that the little hat people, the people that were the yarmulkes were manufacturing, a lot mm -hmm. of the, a lot of those people they they the, those groups didn't last. They be like we still a lot of us still stuck with what we knew go and ahead, that's what we, Listen, go bro. ahead, G Ro, you got you got the, the little this that Little people, they nigga, they've been since the inception of yeah, they've been around mainstream rap. No, no, I'm not. Well, obviously, that's not new. I, obviously, I know that, well, but listen, it listen, seemed like they really tried I mean, to Leo, Leo was very much responsible for yeah, Leo, Jimmy, Iveen, Jimmy like, Iveen, and, 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 Iveen, Jimmy, Iveen, even, like, yeah, then don't even next, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Heller, Jerry, Jerry Heller. Heller. So, listen, listen, you know let what I'm saying? Let me ask you this. Wait, 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 let me say this. Look, let me say this real quick. The Sugar Hill Gang was a manufactured group. That was the first mainstream. Uh, yeah, I agree. Sugar I Hill. agree you with had that. Curtis Blow, and then you had uh, NWA. If you listen to some of the people that talk about it, they say NWA. They say yeah, yeah. A lot Jerry of the West Coast music. Well, listen, a lot of the West Coast music. They say it was some secret meeting where they put a lot of y'all West Coast niggas into it. 
and said, go hey, back. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. there. Yo. <laughs> but I wasn't there. Yo, see, he was in that head. <laughs> the OC was there, too. He was. Yo, they said they pulled a lot of these West Coast rappers into a meeting and said, hey, we got privatized prisons. Go make shoot them up music. And that's what you guys created. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even Ice Cube. That's what even they Even Ice Cube. Even Ice Cube in a recent interview. Even Ice Cube in a recent interview actually admitted that. He said, yo, like, this is this is what we was. This is what was control this is what was to be hit is yeah, so, so I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm not arguing so, with any of that the whole time. First two solo no. albums i don't think no white man was signing off on that shit. that nigga oh. was wilding on who oh no nah, i don't think Ice on Cube. Cube, them first two I don't think Cube. once I think he hooked up with, with public enemy them, them them niggas was wilding you know what i'm saying lynch mob and all that like it was it was kind of different timing i felt like you know what, what was saying? the what was the best disc record ever no vaseline mm. My money ether. Uh, What'd you say? For my money ether, like mine, is no Vaseline, oh, all man. time great. Oh. Thing too, I ain't gonna lie. Hit him up, man. Might be hit him up. Hit him up. up. All three. Nah. Hold on. First of all, first of all, nah, all no three, Vaseline, bro. All three of these are great, and the fact that they y'all all said something different just lets you know. That yeah. how crazy this records was back then, yeah. as, as in compared today. Yeah, no, nah, let me tell you but, this. And I and I probably me, if you ask me, I'm gonna say uh DJ Quick. What was it? Uh cuz oh, uh, if you don't make dollars, it don't make it sense. Game, they they don't, no game. dollars, no sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of I'll just say that. That nigga said e -I he said E I H T. -I -H -T. Now, should I continue? You left out the G of the G of the G A N. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. That was one of the coldest that time you were, that was Remember that cold. time you was rolling on the west side and a little brown bucket put it by your side, cut out the light in the camera of your in the midst of some real killers. Tell me that you feel a little nervous because you was in the set, track, shadows of death with two trap five sevens pointed at your chest. Yeah, yeah that's big man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Yeah, y'all niggas trying to kill the black community over there, but listen. Oh, <laughs> uh, here come Common. All right, Common. All right, Common. All right, Common. Stop it, Common. You, you know what, Common? All right, Common. What happened? Let me say, we, what happened? Got comment on the, we got Common on the stream. Common killed you. Oh, by the bitch in you. Bitch in you. Yes, he did. Yikes. Yes, he did. And it was three. Hey, it was, was going dead. hard. Hold on. I'm going to just say this. Rappers really was prideful about they shit they craft. Especially Man, that fact, Niggas fact. took this shit serious. It was wait, more than man. the fame and the money wait, wait, and the wait. groupies and the number one songs. Niggas wanted to be the fucking best rapper. And if they yeah, felt man. disrespected, whether directly or or or, or, or a subliminal, okay. they went hard. They went at it. They went at it. Niggas went at it. We missing even a nigga it. like Common. What you miss? What you say? That's what I'm saying. Even a nigga like Common. We missing uh, content. Even Common went hard. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Common wasn't going at Cube to be the best rapper though. No, neither was uh Pac and Big. That wasn't best rapper. That was like that was, that was personal. These was personal beefs. These was MTA personal beefs. And DJ Cube However, rapping. Well, even personal. when but when when Ice they drop these NBA. songs. That nigga said Jay Cole out here like Dr. King talking about holding him. Hey, what's that? Hey, Jay, if you keep it, I, hey, Q, hey, what was that other nigga from the uh, West that this Cube when he snatched his chain? Oh, uh, and he made a song the, about it. The, the, when, when he got into it with Cypress Hill. Oh, no, nah, not Cypress Hill. The, I know you talking about, bro. Hold yeah, on. He, yeah, I think that was because they knocked him out and took his watch and all that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, shit. What's up? Solo. Get cute, got he said he got cute with body. <laughs> BG knockout. I said BG knockout. I think it was so. I think real, real motherfucking Jesus, crazy. That's a great oh, That's a great one too. That's a great one too. That's a great one too. That's hey, but look great. at the level of this records compared to today. So when you get shit like seven minutes real, and it's like get the fuck out of here with this shit. If you if you want to go, go all the way. If you're going to crash out, crash all the way out. I'm an old school. I'm an old school. I'm going to love tap you and you. That one that game did versus Meek Mill was pretty good, too. Bro, I go all the way back to Carol. The way he was on Shane. Strap was fired, too. He was smoking that nigga. Shane Strap. Oh, man. Jesus killed good. But listen, listen, though. This is the thing. This is the difference, right? Back then, when somebody did a diss record, we might not hear that record. The diss, the response. For six months, eight months, maybe a year, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what made it good. So 
So now you got to be a little more calculated with putting out. So Kendrick sent out like a little warning shot. He just did a little love tap. Mm. So that's what Cole came back with. The just, you know what I mean? He introduced the narrative and people to see he if he should have blown. A nigga, listen, a nigga, and Ilmac, Ilmac think he's off the hook. Ilmac, I'm still dropping my diss record. It might come out this week. Like, don't think when, you've got away with that. Him shit. and Gotti was talking greasy all over that song. Oh, yeah, he, he thought I let, he thought I forgot because I was supposed to drop it before I battle Sharon and I, I, I battle Sharon, I battle my verse, and I just so I've been, I've been battling. Been? I'm dropping my diss record. How long ago it been? That was a month ago. Like so that, I've about never, other niggas way. I've never. You, been right, out here, you rap every ago, day. Like I just said, I I was on the plane. I was battling my verse. I was Bro. battling Sharon. I'm. I didn't. I ain't get to it yet. Cause when I drop it, it it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. But anyway, it's it's coming soon. Well, look, look, like, look, just, probably look. in the next few days. But anyway, aside look, from look, that, look, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna make this point real quick though. So I want to say this before I get out of here. Go. Ahead, I got a couple things I want to ask y'all before I get out of here. But go ahead. Okay. Just this point. With like Rocky and and Drake, these niggas just smashed each other, baby mamas. You know what I mean? So that's like real. It's like not like I'm better than you. It's like this nigga hit my old lady. <laughs> Will he tell some intricate details about or say some very flagrant? You know what I mean? It's like different, bro. Uh, him and Future beefing about a chick. The nigga and Rick Rossner fell out about it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I window, saw. Uh, it's just gonna just throw everything. And, and young boy and finesse two times was uh. They beefing about chicks. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so, about me, yeah. the, the girls right now, man. What's up yeah, with y'all niggas, man? The so worst thing that happened. happened that, that's, that's, that's another horrible thing that's going on in battle. That's another horrible thing, man. That's another horrible thing that's going on in the rap industry is all these freaking women, man. The man, that, that they, just like battle rap. That's that what messing though. up battle rap. All these women and it's and and man, it's, it's like they just the battle rap, <laughs> man. And I'm we ain't talking about battle rap, but when it come to hip hop, man, all these women, bro, they man, this shit it's is garbage. These niggas been sharing women though, man. You know how many women Pac and Puff allegedly shared and Puff and Shook. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about the artists. I'm talking about the artists. The, 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 the women artists. Oh, you talking about the artists? I'm talking about like niggas beefing over these women. But like that been a thing, you know what I'm saying? Within hip hop. So, but it's different now because I can make a diss record right now and y'all will get it in the morning and it'll go crazy all weekend. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. Back then yeah. we had but to wait. Even yeah, when things are expedited now. Things are a little more streamlined nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Just because we have digital distribution as opposed to where you had to get the record mix master pressed up, the cop, you know, sent to the plant. You got to send it over to the plant. They got to make all the copies. Then they got to get distributed throughout the, you know what I'm saying? And now the, the, you got to send it to Sway. Man, man the good old days. Get it to the right, yeah, to the right DJs. The process was uh it took longer back in that because now niggas can sit at they that they in their own house in a studio whether they go on fucking garage band and they could drop it that same minute. Like I'm putting this shit out right now. And and then Fuck we didn't it. have social media back then, even yeah. and uh, the the advent of social media so expedited look, you, things so, as well. You're right. So even when we got the mixtape, I don't record, like none of it. I don't like none of upload it. Upload your record and upload the mixtape real quick. We still didn't have the power of like, Twitter stupid. and Instagram, like your fan base, niggas, eh, niggas that don't like neither one of y'all trolling. You know what I mean? Which MC can coming? claim the king of the mixtape? What is it? Fifty? Is it? Is it fabulous? Is it Joe Budden? Is it Little Wayne? Bam. Bam. Is it Bam. Cameron in the Dipset? Who is the king all time of the mixtapes? Wow. That's a great question. Me, man, I got it. It's, it's between. And I listen to a lot of game mixtapes, so I, I'm probably biased. I think I'm probably biased. I think Dang. Wayne. I think Wayne has a claim. And Wayne. I think Fab has a claim too. To in my opinion, I think he has three very very good series. Like uh, everyone talks about summertime like, shootout. Summertime shootout. Summertime uh, shootout. The Friday Night no But the no competition series is up there. <laughs> No competition. <laughs> One, two, and three <laughs> are fucking fire. You know what I'm saying? Fire. So I'm fire. Just saying, like, he said Wayne Fab, and Jeezy. Fab has a claim. To Wayne and, and And you know who else has a claim to it? Niggas might not like it. Gucci. He absolutely <laughs> has a claim. That shit. I don't know, man. I, I know it's not lyrical miracle shit. 
but he has some of the best mixtapes for sure. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but I, I think I, if I had to give it to one, I would give it to Wayne. I think I would give it to Wayne. No, Wayne with them dedications. Yeah. I mean, no yeah. Well, let me ask you. Joe this. Button, even Joe Ooh, Button had the yeah, move music like, going crazy. Joe Button, my music. top five rapper. He might one of my top five rappers. Yeah, mine too. Mine He's too. My favorite rapper. Music too is an all time all time classic. I was just playing it the other day. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I had, yeah, I, I got all them joints still. Um, yeah, so, so, so they're so you said between think, Wayne, yeah, I, Wayne to for me, Wayne, Fab, and Gucci. You, you know think over Banks though? also, yeah, shout out to Banks. Banks in there. Had a crazy mixtape series. Man, Game has some fire Whoa, ass mixtapes, bro. Who, who? Uh, the game, yeah, Game has some crazy shit. I, think I, I like Game bad. prior to. Even when he before he dropped back, like better. Yeah, facts. I mean, he was, hey, he, you can he, say he the same though. thing about Fifty Cent. Listen, Fifty had uh, what's that? Power of the dollar, right? Am I? Yeah, that, yeah that was okay. The, that was so, I remember Fifty said a line. I never forgot it. It's it, it, in fact, it's uh, it's part of my philosophy in life. He said, "I hate a liar more than I hate a thief. A thief is after my salary, but a liar is after my reality." Mm. And I was like. I said that's one of the coldest bars I ever heard. That's it wasn't like all super complex. It was just like, no, I hate a liar more than I hate a thief. A thief is after my salary, but a liar is after my reality. I said, damn, this dude 50 cent cold. I like, I can't wait to eat. You know, and then you know, when he dropped and he said, Banks told me go ahead and switch the style up. Mm -hmm. And if they hate, let them hate, but watch the money pile because 50, 50 was actually dope. Yeah, he was doing on them power, power of the dollar. If you listen to that compared yeah, to dope. when he dropped, he's a, it's two different rappers. Yeah. He actually dope. Why? I mean, he was he was actually dope. Like no, I, I, mean, I mean, he no, still I just, I mean, he was a different type of. He dude. was he was going for that. Like I'm nice with these bars and punches and like he was in that lane before he got to the. Like let me not let me get like, these niggas raw street that was shit. Like ninety eight though, it was like ninety eight. I like that. I like that version so of fifty cent. Five yeah. years later, of course, you know, a nigga gonna be evolved or whatever. He just got he evolved and he got with him. He got with Dre and him. And Dre guided and said, Hey, this is how we gonna do it. Man, if he was gonna go in, matter where he went, bro. That he was. I, I, I don't know if he would have been. What, 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 it's 50 oh, as. Damn. It's 50. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. He is today with no Dr. Dre and no Eminem. Way. Yes no or no? Way, no, no, way. no way. way. No, I don't no. think so, bro. Now, the, 50 and bad boy. How we do 50, yeah, got 50 a million and bad dollars, boy. You got a million that's dollars. That's what Trey's best production. 50 and like, bad boy. You think 50 uh, and bad boy? Uh, uh, that ain't even a fit. 50 and, 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 and Jermaine Dupri? No, no way. No way. <laughs> no that nigga way. said 50 and bad boy. Puffy would have took him shopping. He but, said, hey. <laughs> The nigga look like he needed some clothes. Nigga, look, 50 wrote, let's get it. What he said? 50 wrote, let's get it. I just wanted to take him shopping. He's a nice guy. And Dame Grease, like, I couldn't look, even look. see that. Even though Who? Like, what you said? Dame Grease. Now, 50 might have been good with Swiss, with Swiss Beats. Hell no. Now, 50 might have been wait, good wait, with Swiss, Swiss Beats. Beats. Bro, he would have went straight through the label. He could have went no, straight to Interscope. Because if you look at his album, the first yeah. album, the nigga Dre didn't produce, but he produced like three tracks. He got in the club from him. He, we know he can write a hit because he wrote "Let's Get It." He wrote all the other hits. You know what I mean? Fifty and Swiss, no. That nigga no, no, said, no, no. "Laugh out loud." No. Fifty and no. Swiss. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I'm not lying on that one. Would be in India in a temple if he saw. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he, but he ain't never like pub though. He ain't never like pub. <laughs> He been oh my this. god! He was no on the mixtapes. Name okay. Watch this. Name a hip hop artist who would have done better had they not debuted with the label that they debuted with. And I'll I'll say I'm gonna start with maybe cannabis may have been in a better position had he not debuted with uh with Wyclef producing that. But can you name another artist who probably would have had a better career if they wasn't with the people they was with? Wow, damn, that's a great fucking. You know what? I can give you one. Who? Fucking game. 
Because he, he left. left. He, he left. left. He, he dropped. He left. Documentary with Drake. But he left and got. But he left and got. To me, in my opinion, he left and got better. He left and got better. You I, say he I don't think they. Career. I don't think they liked his second album better than Documentary. What was that second album? Doctor's Advocate, like man, I man. The Doctor's Doctor Advocate, Advocate, Advocate is fucking yeah. fire, bro. It is. The Doctor's but, Advocate is fucking I'll fire. You. I'll give you one, even though even though he had a successful career and everything like that, I think if Fab is signed to Pharrell instead of Desert Storm, oh, that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. one. Oh. Fab's best records was with the Neptunes. That's hey, hey, he, he, he probably and he still had a generally good career. Yeah, you no, know what I'm saying? He made career. bread. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But he might have went to the stratosphere. I think, I think he's. I think he's but on then, the move. But 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 Neptune, he's the, on the move. The Neptunes couldn't get really the clips off the ground and running. I mean, for they had that little little time in the spotlight. Oh, but shit. They really, Hell had no fury. Like got it for cheap. That's what I said. Yeah. I said they had the their time out. in the spotlight. They, I said they had their little time in the spotlight. But the label but they, went out of but, business. But, on the second album though, the label went out of business. Like the, the, the yeah, the label was acting crazy yeah. with them. They so had they, political whatever. But yeah, they had to get out of their deal. I think to, with Fab with Pharrell's templates. With the with the musical templates he was putting together, man, shit, we'd have got like four more records, like holla back, like what, like that. that oh shit, been, I, you know what I'm saying? Like I think I think that would have been a better situation. Mm, old school, Tony Carter. Carter. Thank you, bro. I think, I think most of everybody that Eminem signed would have been better without him. Thank you, bro. No, that no, you're right. I agree. I agree. Then, then you Eminem, you, you, you would well, think automatically signing with Eminem, you finna blow up. They out the fifty. It didn't work out for Yellow Wolf. It didn't work out for but I think who was that Obi Obi and Obi Slaughterhouse. Tr- it worked Obi, out. Obi, Obi Man, that's Obi, Obi Trice. That's, Obi Trice. That's first Obi Trice oh, album is a banger. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, first Obi Trice. That's, that. that's, that's not Tears. That was uh yeah, yeah, the, the, the first Obi. What's the, the first Tears is the first. Tears. Tears was the first. Tears. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I still listen to that shit. I listen to that shit to this day. Well, Platinum Tears is Lupe. Lupe, perhaps. Lupe is is a candy. If Lupe is with Kanye. If Lupe signs over the rock and is it has Kanye's production behind him, yeah, I think yeah. Beanie would have. I think yeah, Beanie could have been bigger if he didn't go through like signing with Rockefeller. I think still well, going, ooh, still working with well, hey, hey, that's well, a good look, one. I like that bad. one. Beanie, I like that one. Beanie, Beanie, I like the Beanie Siegel with somebody else. I like that. With who? With who? Beanie with who? I mean, Ooh, you don't have to necessarily sign under like a, a artist or a producer. You can sign directly to the label. Like Buster, he had his own label imprint. He was signed directly to the label. Like you don't have to be like. If under- Beanie's not with Rock, there's it. There is no state property. No way. That's, that's true. That, that's not that's true, true because he still knew all them guys, right? He could. Nah, they could have been, he he might have took them. He might have took them over with him. They gave him a whole situation. Like they, they, they gave him a situation. Yeah. Rock, well, that's not saying, to say that another they, label wouldn't have done the same they, thing. Look, you saying that's, so, that's true? I think that's that's true. true. Benny was look. Benny was clearly like independent. He went and made two albums. I mean, two movies. Mm. He was doing that independent. Like he was clearly like not trying to be up under guys. You know what I mean? So if he mm. had a, went did his own thing, start his own label imprint, he still could have brought the Philly guys with him. But we see what happened after the Rock fills it out. The whole thing crumbled. You know what I mean? He said, good discussion, y'all. Yeah, salute to Chicago out there in South Africa. Salute, man. I know it's probably like five in the morning out there, yeah, brother. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm finna get out of here too. But uh, um, out of the out of the sidekicks, I, I don't want to call them sidekicks. Oh, Let's just say out of the the lower man within the groups, who yeah. is the best? I, I'm, who's the best? Y'all give me y'all answer. Who this is my last question? You got Capone from Capone in uh Noriega, right? Fire. You got okay. Daz. You got we're gonna Daz. Take, we're gonna take you Daz. Memphis. You got Memphis Bleak. We're gonna take Daz. Got- we're gonna take Memphis Bleak. We're gonna take Sheik Luch from the Locks. Sheik, Luch, right? Man. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> yeah. And my, my man, uh, Havoc. We'll take Havoc from my beat. Come on, man. Come on. Havoc, Havoc. 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 Is a legendary producer. He, Havoc I, I, is the man. But it was rapping. Which hey, one? Sugar, which one of these guys was the best? Prodigy on a bunch of them tracks. I ain't doing that. <laughs> he got, he I got, got, I got hey, Havoc, man. Now, hey, Havoc, I now, to now, music, now, this is gonna Havoc. fuck you up, man. Yeah. But, Havoc, but, but, but Sugar Free, hey, this gonna fuck you up. But Sugar Free was also the sidekick to 
DJ Quick. DJ Quick. Hey, Sugar Free was fire though. Not and, and it's, so, <laughs> if, if you know what I'm saying, if I'm keeping it real, uh, Sugar you Free. Know Free was a pimp though. He wasn't rapping for it. He was doing. He was playing. <laughs> what? He man, 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 that nigga got classic songs. Maybe you had to be from the West. No, I like Sugar Free. I'm saying. I think he, talking. You call him a side. Like, he wasn't trying to rap for it. That nigga was a pimp. He just had some flow. You know what I mean? They said Sheik Luke hands down. He was better than Kiss <laughs> and P from '96 to 2000. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, Danny, I'm what? not gonna lie. When I first heard the lock, I thought Sheik was the best nigga in the group. Me personally, what's up with y'all niggas? I did, bro. I ain't gonna lie. What's the first song you heard? I think boom. What? Yo, you ain't had that first <laughs> album. In the shiny suit era, I thought that nigga was better than them niggas, bro. We like, gotta fight. Hold up, dog. About the first <laughs> about I ain't gonna front on you either, cause though I kind of thought Sheik was better than everybody too. I, I did, bro. I yeah. kind of can't front on that too. When I first yeah, I heard him, I was like, oh, I like that. I like the third guy because Cheek most of the time rap third. I thought he, he was always the man. What song, bro? bro I, I don't. I mean, I'm be honest. Hope for tomorrow, don't do it. Time, the first time I heard him was maybe all about the Benjamins. First time I heard uh, the locks, the locks, and all she, about the Benjamins. All too, about the Benjamins. Too. All about the Benjamins. Both of them. Yeah. Kiss and Luch, both of them had great verses. Like Luch was different. Like I'm still yeah. trying to cop those. You know what I mean? That was yeah. There have been songs where she had the best verse. Definitely. So, but there has I, been songs I, where, where she got the most. But know, he, he said personally? from '96 to 2000, she was better than all of them. Time. That is a long time. That's, that's a, a long four time. year stretch, brother. That's a long time. You telling me Jada? You telling me Jada didn't have a better verse or a better? That's Hold on, man. Like, you got to you, you 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 give. But if I'm a, if I'm a keep it real, I'm gonna say Daz is the best sidekick. I'm gonna say no. Daz. No, I'm gonna go with Daz, bro. I'm, I'm Daz Dillinger. I, I mean, I don't feel comfortable calling like producers, like niggas that shape the the yeah. form of the album. Who's who's the best sidekick. rapper slash producer outside of Kanye West? Rapper producer. <laughs> Like you got, you got, you got, you got, quick. You can throw, DJ uh, quick. quick. You can throw Puff Daddy in there. You gonna, do, even though he's got, nah, we ain't throwing Puff Daddy, Puff Daddy in nothing. Well, well, then you can say the same thing. Okay, you're really gonna take him out for Ghost you Riding. Puff, you got then you Drake. take out Master P, and you gotta take out Dre. Okay, take out. If we, if we, one of them could you tolerate? And Birdman, Birdman, Kanye West is the best rapper producer. Ever. I don't know. Right? I gotta say, probably J. Cole. Kanye West is the West best rapper producer. J. Cole? He said? He produced all his albums. He was producing. E e Eminem also produces. Eminem. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true, Eminem too. Eminem production is terrible. Don't, whoa, 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 don't do that. I ain't gonna say nah, I don't know man. about that, yeah, bro. Man. Nah, you tripping. Uh, nah, uh, you tripping. Jay Z. Eminem production is what? It's not, what? yeah, patiently waiting and, and don't push me and all that shit. This shit was on 50 CD. That shit was produced. And you name it three or four what? albums, man. This nigga started I'm, making. I'm talking look, about these are. Good, M started producing this whole Renegade. Way. Renegade was produced by fucking. Uh, Renegade wasn't that great, though. The, the beat wasn't the that beat great. Wasn't great. It wasn't what? that great. It was really? okay. it's not, that's not a great hey, look. Beat? You name it four or five songs. <laughs> look, Eminem started like producing six. his four. Wait, wait, wait. Eminem started producing his four albums, and we stopped caring about Eminem. Don't, like some things that make you go, hmm. When we stop Man. liking Eminem. After Dr. Dre stopped putting that song, said, Bro, I like, I liked, you know yeah. what? A lot of people didn't like that album, but I actually like that album that he produced uh for Pac. Um, oh, see, people hated that. Like, people thought was I liked it though. I'm gonna like like ask it. all of y'all is Neither. there any, is there any, and every anybody in the chat, you feel free, but uh, G Road, Matthew, Tom Row, mm -hmm. is there any album that ever came out of the south that's gonna be above the fix and the diary? Wow, man, man fuck the south. I don't even fuck the oh. nigga. Oh. Fight the back, G-Ro! <laughs> I would say I'm sorry, bro. I don't you mean, mean to say it like that, but I just don't. You didn't mean to say it like that. 
<laughs> uh, Outcast, yeah. it had to be it had to be uh one of the first two from out because like, to me outcast better like, better you said better right yeah, you said uh, better probably probably what uh equimini would probably be like the the one equimini uh, uh, equimini is better than the fix <sighs> like, yeah is it clearly i mean it's, it's art you can't even do clear because the fix is like you know what i'm saying but I think, me, I think I think the might have got five mics, bro. Like I better think, than I pretty think much everything better than else. Them. I ain't gonna lie. The first three from Outcast is Class. better better than everything. Like better than the diary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I probably, that's, you know, I, and, that, and that's just fucked up. But I'm just like you know. No, I, I respect all the people. That's why I'm asking the question. Yeah. Like for you. Yeah. Is there like an album better than that than Scarface's criminal criminal classics? Both them too. I'm taking Carter two over both of them. Carter two Carter over two. the fix. Yeah. Carter two. That's Ooh. tough. Yeah. So, so hold on. So is Carter yeah. two the best album that ever came from the South? Yeah, I, it's arguable to me. It's <laughs> arguable. Yeah. I uh, but but see, like I said, the first three from Outcast is better than everybody else. Shit to me, man. Like straight up, especially especially the second one. But the first that, three, that, ooh, yeah. See, I like Tone Bro, man. He got Tone it. Bro is a logical guy, man. He got like yeah. this, man. It's just you know it's, it's, it's just. What, what hey, why don't never? Why don't anybody ever talk about um? What's his name? Um, who? Big who? Boy? Who is dope? Uh, P I M P Pimpology. Then think biology. Do that. Do that. Yeah. What about him? Dude, that's the group. Why don't, you talking about why don't people talk about you they talking first about, they first couple you know, albums? Not mobsters? No, you know, do or die. Do oh, do or die. Oh, do or die. die. Right. Oh, yeah, in the backseat. Back 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 back. I don't people know. Don't, what I mean, they first couple of albums was actually pretty dope, dog. So you might as well say crucial conflict. Yeah. Oh no, like, no, no, we ain't talking about no fucking crucial. Hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. Don't you ever in your fucking life, don't you ever in your fucking life bring up no goddamn crucial comp, nigga. Yeah, they were like more aggressive. Do it. Now. I seen them niggas. Them niggas work at Walmart. What the? Hell? <laughs> 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 Them niggas work at Walmart. <laughs> All right. On that note, Danny Bargai. I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying, y'all? <laughs> hey, y'all hey Tom, bro. Thank you for your hip hop knowledge. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, G. Yeah. for your hip hop um, knowledge. Hey, and, and Tom, and, uh, hey, 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 uh, oh boy, on top. Don't be dissing streets as a mother. All right. Yeah, don't you ever I, in your life. Easy talking about easy. No, we talking about nah. corrupt, nigga. Oh, Fuck out of here. Get fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> now, thank you, thank you, y'all, for pulling up, man. This has been a, a legendary episode, man. We need more hip hop discussions like this because it's like it's the nostalgic factor and think make you think about all them old albums and dope crazy. My next show, we gonna probably uh go with the some of the coldest bars ever in the in the history of hip hop. Yeah. So I, I want to go with the bars in the in the flows in the next show. Yo, but yo, yeah, man. Okay. What's the what's the two episodes you said we gotta do? The New York rapper. Gotta do what happened in New York hip hop, uh, from from the battle rap perspective and the the music side. Like who it, what happened to the the new? Where the new niggas at? Where the new legends at? From New York, man. And what was the other show? Yeah, Tony, other? bro. I know that. Yeah. yeah. And did oh, the did the South? You wanna know what happened? Did the Pop, rise of the South hurt hip hop? Hey, Pop came out and had all them New York niggas on silent mode. That's what the fuck happened. Something. Let me tell you something. If if Griselda wasn't from Western New York, where I'm from, and they was from Brooklyn and Queens and shit, none of a lot of this discussion wouldn't even be happening. But I, I'm gonna just leave it at that. You well, we're talking about New York City. It's the rest of the state don't want to claim New York State and shit, even though they sound more true to the old New York style than New York niggas. But you know, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm going to that note, man. But Tony, but wait, wait, Tom. But Tom, to, to that point, we were talking about New York City because you know it's a New York City supremacist type attitude. They got so that's, that's why we. Oh man, this is man. <laughs> my guys you heard how said that. we go say this argument for the next show. All right, man, Daddy. All right, right y'all. Go to the chat. Everything hit the like button. Hit the like button on the way out, man. We are everything is a supremacy. <laughs> hey.